as tonight, we're going to watch a bunch of dudes show up in underwear and uh, no underwear. gloves, that's right, and kick each other's asses. Darren, what do you say about the Lights Out fighting competition? See, that's what it's going to sound like. Yeah. By the way, speaking of real quick, quick quick little detour, mm -hmm. did you guys see that fight in the hockey game last night? Oh, my God, Alex Ovechkin? Alex Ovechkin, who oh. just destroyed Dude. some teenager. That kid, that's a teenager, that kid, who just picked at the, 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 the wrong guy. Yeah, but, but Alex Ovechkin, in his entire NHL career, has like five fights on his entire oh, record. It? So he thought he was a mark. So yes, yeah, so so my understanding is is that Ovechkin's your top offensive player. That's right. somebody going after him. So it's like going after Gretzky. Correct. Right. And this is a teenager. Well, I'm sorry. It's like somebody's punching at me. You know, he's, I get it. He's I'm on, not saying the kid didn't deserve it in in hockey justice. I'm just saying, it was pretty brutal. I understand, but you know, listen. Sometimes I'm walking down the streets. There's some 19, 20 year old kid. I got to teach him a lesson. Right here, yeah. I don't. I don't really want to do that. Actually. I'm afraid of these kids. I think they'll kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Was the other guy? Um, like, is Ovechkin Rushkin? Russian? Russian? Is Ovechkin Rushkin? And is the kid? The, the kid is he also Rushkin? He has a Russian sounding name. Yeah. I don't know his actual place of birth. So I didn't know if this was a, hey, Alexander Ovechkin, you big meanie. You beat up on a teenager on the other team, and he's your Russian brother. Rushkin. Ovechkin brother. Wait, see if I can look up here. Yeah, see what you got here. I just, I saw it and said, wow, Ovechkin yeah. just clobbered this guy. No, I never saw, I knew, you don't see that happen. I mean, he clobbered him and just was punching him as he, he was unconscious on the ground. It was straight bare knuckles Merriman type stuff. Jeez. Anybody get a hold of Merriman to find out if he's buying the station yet or no? So you can broadcast bare knuckle fighting? No. Alex, how's our live streaming going? We're streaming. Streaming on Twitter? Yeah. And on YouTube? Not yet. Not yet on just YouTube. YouTube. Ovechkin, oh, just on YouTube. First nice. fight since 2010. See that? Nine years, this guy hasn't fought. The kid he beat up was probably in diapers. Diapers over here. Over here now. This kid's in diapers. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So his name is Andre Ovechkinov. Ovechkinov. He's 19 years old. He's Russian. Mm -hmm. Russian on Russian crime. That's right. That's right. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Vladimir Putin probably didn't take kindly to that. Maybe he did. Maybe he thought this kid had it coming to him. Maybe. You don't mess with the great aid. Got it. So um, I don't know how we got sidetracked on hockey. It feels kind of good to talk about it, though. <laughs> It was kind of good to be in NHL. It? Yeah, it feels like you know I know what I'm talking about. Like I saw what what you're talking about. Yeah. I didn't see anything else in the game. I don't know who won. In fact, I don't even know who the other team was that Ovechkin's team was playing. And I think Ovechkin plays for the Washington Capitals, right? Yes. Yeah, they're the defending Stanley Cup champs. Right. And so I believe this other kid plays for the Carolina Hurricanes. Yes. Very good. And you would know the Carolina Hurricanes because their owner is the guy who. Close the AAF. Yes, yes, yes. Right. We're streaming. We are. We are currently streaming on what? What platform? You. We you got just, it. On. Yeah, we got it. I don't know. Oh wait a second! I'm just being told this is interesting. I didn't know this. Mike von Glickenhaus just sent me a text message saying that he has spent a couple of hours on the phone with Sean Merriman. Hmm. Wow. Wow, maybe we could get Merriman on the show, or at least on the crossover. We could talk about it. Oh, wait a second. Okay, M Mike is telling me that now Sean Merriman is not involved with Bare Knuckles, but he has an MMA company. Yes, he has his own mixed martial arts league. I'm sure that he'll eventually dominate UFC. I just have... Because the settings he's Sean Merrill, pop -up player. And he's a big star. Did you just see Adam Schefter's tweet? Nope. Let me see what it says. Do you want me to read it? Please. Mighty 1090 is coming back on the radio. The powder blues will now be the Chargers' primary home uniform in 2019. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I was yeah, see that coming a mile away, right? Probably. Okay. Yeah. It didn't take much for the Chargers to figure out. Well, people seem to really like the powder blue unis. Now that we're in L.A. full time, wow. let's no. see if we can do that. You know the problem with that is? It's just an no. output. And Nobody in LA like cares. Sliding bar. It's not like, hey, these uniforms are so cool. Let's go get a charger. That will resonate more here. No, probably. Good and bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. So, D. Smith, what's uh, okay? Wait a second. Mike Lickenhouse must be spending a lot of time with Sean Merriman. Now he's telling me the name of the, the league. Lights Out on. Extreme Fighting. L O E F. Lights 
L O E F. Lights out extreme fighting. Okay. And Sean Merriman's new new league. Good evening, yeah. everybody, and welcome to Lights know. Out Extreme Fighting. I don't know where else to go. What's the name of that uh, place down in Mission Valley? It's the Scottish Rite Center. Is that, is that right? Li live from the Scottish Rite Center <laughs> here in Mission okay. Valley, it's the Lights Out Extreme okay. Fighting. You I'm your host this evening, Scott Kaplan, joined alongside by another happy Lights Out employee and broadcaster, Darren Smith. Darren, welcome to the Scottish Rights Center for Lights Out Extreme Fighting. Aren't we fortunate to have jobs thanks to Sean Merriman? Well, thank you very much, Scott. It does feel great to be employed. So yes, to answer your question. All right. Coming up tonight, Sean Merriman will feature himself as the headliner here tonight at the Scottish Rights Center. And Sean Merriman is definitely going to win this fight. Because it's called the Lights Out Extreme Fighting <laughs> Pretty much. League, and we're here to all yes. tell you how great he is because he's the owner of the radio station now. How about, how about if Merriman bought this company that made us all fight him? <laughs> or fight each like other. Just, yeah, fight each other. Yeah, human cockfighting. Him. Right, he just yeah. killed us one by one. Yeah. Right, I'm first. Maybe I'll save right. it for last. You know, like first he just wet his appetite for some blood, and he just like beat the living snot out of you know, Jordan. You know, and then he would just gradually go up in weight and go up in weight. Like, who do you think he would save for last? If he was just going to pick us off one by one, you think so? You think Scott would be the toughest challenge for him? No, 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 no. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, like, like when he's beating up when he's beating up on Ben Higgins. Poor Ben Higgins. You know, Ben Higgins has got the size to actually defend himself should he choose to. If Ben could land a punch there, but, but, it might have some power but, to it. But Ben doesn't have what it takes to be angry enough to even so much as curse, let alone oh. fight back against Sean Merriman. You understand what I'm saying? What about like Brandon Trufa? Okay, Brandon Trufa would have would, would, would have a little bit of hockey <laughs> fight to him. Yeah, he would. And he'd say, come on, Merriman, rip that jersey right over your head and smack you around. What would he say? Well, he, well, he would try to, but he, would, he wouldn't be able to do that. Um... <laughs> I think it'd be great. Merriman just is like, I've been carrying around this, this. I've been irritated with these guys for 15 years. Yeah. And now I'm just going to beat them all up and then yeah. fire them. One by one. He'll take Paul Rindle. He's going to take the morning show producer, Paul Rindle. He's got some forearm strength. He's going to take him and he's going to torture him. He's going to take his arms and put them on the table and then take uh. those switches, like what Adrian Peterson used to beat his child. Mm. He's going to take those switches and he's going to beat Paul Rindle's forearms to, to bloody pulps. Use her hand. <laughs> Use her hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. So yeah, so so that's what Sean Merriman's gonna do. And one by one, and then I'm gonna be sitting there. And you're gonna be last. And, and gonna, all your all of your colleagues are gonna be beaten to a pulp and unemployed. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Right. Both yeah. their heads. Right. Linebacker. Yes, my, yes. my linebacker. Right, these guys are on the Absolutely. Uh, Charger 50 yeah. year right. team. You know, they're, they're, right. they are related. <laughs> you know, yep. like there's, there's a there's a built in respect between Absolutely. Billy Ray and Merrill. Yes. Yes. Yep. Like straight off, straight out of Gladiator. That's right. One by one, they just get smoked. Yep. They're like fighting the mountain. God, it'd be great if Sean Merriman bought this radio station and murdered us all. Well, I mean, whether he murders us all or <laughs> fires us all or. Hold on. The mountain? I'll just unplug it. So I'll listen to it again. I don't know that he's going to spare anything. Yeah, I could be, I could be, I could wow. have the mixer a little bit left on output, right? Well, I think the women in his world will have a slightly different role, perhaps. You know what I mean? To his, you know, his early young days here with his Tila Tequila and, and his whole, you know, I don't know if he still whistles. I don't, I think, I don't know if she's still Tila Tequila or she's Vicky Vodka. Okay. I don't know what she is now. You know, I'll I, don't, I don't know who this chick is. You know? <laughs> Gonna change her name or a drink. <laughs> so, D. Smith, um, are you receiving a lot of feedback based on yesterday's conversation that you yourself were going to be involved in a potential new ownership group here at 1090? Had a few inquiries yeah. to find out. People always ask this question uh, in these conversations here, particularly during the segment. Now, was that just for show? 
or is there really something to that? Mm -hmm. Does that have legs? I said, no, actually, that, that actually does have legs. How does what work? Well, I think you would have to put up some of your own personal money, not as much as you would ask investors to stay, clearly, but as a symbol of good faith that, listen, I don't have the resources that you do, but symbolically, this is what I can stake. This is what I can stake, right. I, I can stake this, which represents a significant percentage of my career earnings, $10. So that you know I'm not just gonna cut bait and just run away here. As you've invested a lot more than me, this is what I can do commensurate with what you can do, right? I mean, I that's have, a, at least that's the way I've been operating. I have a $50 gift card. Mm -hmm. I've got some from, trade. From Bootleggers, East yeah. Village Tavern and Bowl. Right. I did. I'm getting in the way. They're just giveaways. But that's, you know, that's, away yesterday. as we were saying the other day, like that's how we pay our rent now. Is we yeah. pay our rent, yep. our mortgage and trade. And so I'm willing to stake up my trade supply in order to, to make a claim on this company. Okay, I think that's a good idea. And as I approach these wealthy investors, this is what I say I can do symbolically, and I think it resonates. But that's, you know, as we were saying the other day, For me, I'm more of a sales guy, so I'm selling the vision, you know, and that's really my job now. Yeah, so I'm going to sell the vision. I'm going to uh, expand how we do what we do, therefore giving advertisers many more uh, ways to reach our audience. And, um, and, you know, I've been mentioning this on Twitter, but I plan to build a full gym here in, in, in 1090. Then, what about then yoga studio? I'm, if you want yoga, I'll have yoga. I'm just telling you that I want people, like Darren, what time do you usually get here at 10 in the morning? Uh, okay. So Darren comes in 9 ish. By 9 45, he's doing morning crossover. Okay. And then he's got a couple hours before he hits the airwaves. And then 3 o'clock comes and he's ready to get out of here. But the traffic is a pain in the ass. Um, wouldn't it be great if instead of having to go all the way home to do yoga, you could come up here and do yoga? Uh, or you could come up here and do yoga, then get done, go to the men's locker room, shower, change, get done. You know, or you get off the air, it's like, I don't really want to leave yet because I still want to shoot some videos that I'm going to put out on Twitter. I'm still going to record a podcast. There's, there's more content that I'm going to create. But while I'm here, they've got lunch out here catered. They've got this gym over here. i got my yoga instructor doing this for me. I brought in my massage therapist. I mean, don't leave. Just, just have so much fun working here and then radiate that energy through the microphones, onto the airwaves, <clears throat> if we ever get them back. And, and, then, and then everybody listening will enjoy because everybody will feel your energy. And if you love what you do and you love where you do it and you love why you do it, everyone will buy into that. So to, to this point, we've yes, all done shows from Cal. Mm -hmm. How's the vibe up there from a professional standpoint, from a workplace environment? Callaway is to golf what Google is to tech. Yep. You know, when you see... This, this is the way you build the modern office. Correct. Right. Like Darren. Our friend Rick Maliti, who for many years has been associated with this radio station, mostly through Valley View Casino and Hotel, has an office off Kearney Mesa. I'll be visiting it tomorrow. He built this amazing killer office workspace, which has a bar in it, a kitchen, and I was like, wow, why did you do this? He's like, well, we want our employees happy when they're here. We went above and beyond for the kitchen space because we don't want anybody sitting around waiting for the one microwave. So we put in a bunch of microwaves. We put in some refrigerators. We want to make sure that when they're here, to your point, this is the modern workplace. This is what it should look like. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think one of the local stations, maybe Fox 5, did a story on his office because it's so impressive. Well, I've seen a lot of cool office spaces, and when your office space is cool and fun, people actually like going there and working. Yeah, and crazy concept. And instead of having you know people say, "Oh, I'm going out for lunch now," you know, no, actually, we brought in lunch, and it doesn't even cost you anything, and it's super healthy, and that's good for you, and it's good for our company because you're going to be even more productive because you're here, and you're eating the right foods, and you know this is the sort of control freak that I am. So that's what I want to say. I want to monitor what everybody's eating. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to make sure that everybody's getting the right amount of exercise. We'll have the tea clinic in this joint. Oh, We're making sure that our testosterone is exactly perfect, perfect when we take to the airwaves. Every Friday, the total tea clinic is going to be here.
doing testosterone shots for everybody that wants them. Who works here? That's so testosterone brilliant. shots. That's right. This uh -huh. is a brilliant idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you prefer to I'll, take I'll take a double. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. I've been trying to get Billy Ray to try like some CBD, and every time I try to get him to, do, to, to use it, everybody send all the CBD products for Billy Ray. They're like, try this, try this, try this. Like, like, what, like creams? No, like like things like for water, like you know, um, drops and stuff. Because they say that that CBD regenerates brain cells and mm -hmm. and takes down inflammation and so mm -hmm. on. And I keep trying to get him to use it. I can't get him to use it. You know, I want him to use it. You know, Billy Ray, why would you not try it? I don't remember you ever. Trying to get oh, me to do it. The, this is the issue. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Now I thought it was a topical. I thought it also served they as do, a topical if you have some aches and pains. Yeah. But how does it know? Is it sort of like like uh, anti-inflammatory? Yeah. It knows exactly where to yeah. travel. Mm. Apparently so. Yeah. All these NFL alumni guys. Oh, really? Yeah, my my friend Dr. Sunny turned uh, turned Linda on to CBD. But is it, is it just for pain, or does it actually like start the healing? You know, like if you've got like a like a pulled hamstring or a, a sprained knee, for instance. Mm. Wow, good for you. Try to get Billy Ray to try it out. I got this guy yesterday telling me, come on, you gotta get Billy Ray to give this product a try. I'm trying, dude. Okay, I'll go get it. I, every time I want to bring it to you, you're like, dude. You know, give me, give me the product. I'll where go get it. it. I'll go get it. <laughs> <laughs> pass it around. Puff, puff, pass. <sighs> puff, puff, and pass. So does this record audio also? It's recording you right now. So this is streaming? Audio? Right now, yeah. What's the uh, device you're using then? iPad and Mevo. But I'm trying to get the audio just, because like, right now we'll hear it, people are hearing us talk. So I'm trying to get it to... You're trying to get it to, to, to hear where, Linda also. Right, right. And you. Right. Got it. Your boy Hedgy uh, tomorrow night. Being honored the high school thing, right? Or his uh, coach's thing. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the MC of that. Yeah. It's kind of the second year of real week. I mean, was there to help Where do I put that in, Scotty? I guess water. Can I just drink it straight? I don't know about that because I think it's just supposed to be drops. Like do a shot? Do a oh shot. Yeah, it's, it's not a. Be what I was thinking. It's not a. Um, See, my mother-in-law had like she had a topical stuff, and I was like, oh. Well, I, we have all that too, the topical stuff. Um, because yeah, like you know, my knee's been fucked up since that soccer celebrity thing. You want to try some? I would. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you some. But I, I mean, is it healing now, or is it just to deal with pain? I don't know. All it says on the front of this is beverage enhancer. All right. Doesn't say anything about doing what anything it actually to does. <laughs> it enhances your beverage. Yes. All of a sudden, you have a gallon in front of you. What, All it says on the front what do I do with this? I guess you roll it out. The roll on gel? Yeah, can I treat this right out of it? I really don't know because I don't know the product well enough. I think it says that you're supposed to like drop it in water. Gotcha. Oh, wow. It's like deodorant. Roll on. What's the deal, Grande? How are you doing? It's streaming, but the audio is just catching everything in here and not Linda or me. Why? I'm just trying to figure that out. So we can hear you right now. Can you hear this back? No, you try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, but I mean, but like, you can use it like in the daytime. Yeah, right. Re it's not you. From what I'm told, you're not going to feel anything because it's not like getting high. It's like uh, yeah. it's not the same part of the plant, the cannabis plant. Right. Well, it's not THC. Right. So, hmm. I can't read shit either. Maybe I should use my eyes. What do we got here? Morning light. Game of Thrones. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Because you know, someone had to sit here last time. No, it's not about that. It's just the audio. Oh shit. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's 
And fire. I don't know what the deal is, but he's supposed to be he's supposed to be getting the audio from What else you got? Not that I can't. I don't know why it's so darn hard to, to just do these streams. It should be pretty easy, but. Well, listen, it's <coughs> not like we had a ton of time to. No, it's not. Get our shit together. No, we got no time. <laughs> you know, sort of figure it out as we go. Yeah, we're making it up. But we were able to do it the first day. Andrew here? Here? His office is open. It is? Is this strong? His office door is open. No, I don't know if that's just because Alex went in there to get that. I think that might be why. Because I think he leaves early on Tuesdays. Right. No Andrew Bureau today. So we have no way of Peace out, yo. Okay. Oh. Should this be on? I it should be. I know, I'm I know. She's just trying. It's all hooked up exactly how we had it. Great friends throughout Southern California, the entire mega market, and worldwide on the Mighty 1090 app, as well as many other apps that carry the Mighty 1090 and uh, all kinds of other platforms, including, where are we currently streaming, even though... We're on YouTube. We're on YouTube. Excuse but by, what I'm being told is, though, is that we're on YouTube streaming, but you can only hear me and Billy Ray. You can't hear Alex and Linda, and we're trying to figure that out right now. Okay, what do I do? So we're working on that. Hmm. So we're, we're trying to be really cool and techy and happening, but we're not really good at it quite yet. Well, it, it, it's a catastrophic situation that creates the need to do something different, and there's no lead time of any kind. Yeah, this is cool. I'm down to try it. Yeah. Okay. So we're on, we're on YouTube. Hey, Alex, should I tell people how to find us on YouTube? Just give me a second. No, okay, give me a second. <laughs> Okay. He's trying to find. Yeah, he's like Scott. Why are you such a pain in my ass? You know, Allison's on him. You know, it's like it's like it's like it's like honestly, like a, a, a surgeon is doing surgery, mm. and the wife of the person who's being operated on yeah. is standing no, over the heard. doctor to make sure that right. the doctor so knows what he's doing. That's what's going on right here in the studio right now. Look what's going on. Mm -hmm. We are good, but every time you talk, nobody can hear you. you know? So that's an unfortunate part. <laughs> Based on what I'm saying, what do you think she just said? So how about our San Diego Padres, even after a losing effort last night at home against Colorado, and the night before or the afternoon before against Arizona, so dropping two in a row, there are the Padres, still atop the National League West. Feels good. 11-7. and seven. You got it. Dodgers at 10-8. and eight. Arizona at 7 and 9, uh, San Fran at 7 and 10, and there are the last place Rockies who yeah, beat the, the Padres last night, moving. and they are at 5 and 12. And game time tonight is yeah, 6 o'clock. Okay. Right. Yeah. 6 10. Nope. It's tonight's game time. One more up. So, um, Monday night, it probably wouldn't have been that bad because, let's face it, I mean, the place was, you know, there, there were a lot of empty seats. What about the ball it's not like you expect 40,000 on a Monday night when Colorado comes to town. I think the point I'm trying to make is this, though. Does that do anything? My 18-year-old son, who has been a Padre uh, fan I his whole Allison life, on. has so not been like interested in the Padres yeah. for the last five right, years. Because if you were a Padres like fan, pretty easy to be embarrassed by the team's performance. But all of a sudden, even kids, my you son, you say your daughter, on a Monday night, think the, coo the cool thing to be doing tonight is to go to the Padres. Even when they, they signed Matt Kemp and James Shields and that whole class in 2015, 
it still was never really the cool thing. It was still just baseball. This is the cool thing. And I'll tell you this right now. You can sell me all day long on Manny Machado. I'm telling you that I think that the reason so many young adults, anything. young teenagers, 18, 19 years old, I think the reason they're in this Padres team, not just because they've spent the money, they've been committed to winning. I think I think this Fernando Tatis you bet. is such an interesting thing for other kids. I, I've been trying to think about it. Like, okay, my son's 18. He's about to be 19. He's played his freshman year of junior college football. He's looking at Fernando right, Tatis, yeah. who's 20. So maybe he's 14 months or 16 months older than my son. And my son's better. looking at him like, that's a grown ass major board, league man. baseball player. What if I just start over? 17 games. Right. You know, and I'm wondering if your daughter is also thinking, hey, I'm 18. And he's only 20. Look how cool his hair is. Look how great his game is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, going to a Padres game on a Monday night, a school night, is, at least by last night's standards, it is going to the red. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this to arm. Don't pay up, Billy Ray. Absolutely. What is that? Don't pay up. Mm -hmm. It's on. So, anyway, uh, we are back the on the stream today. Yeah. yeah. Back to, uh, we are back on the stream yeah, waves. I don't think I had it on the last 48. So, Alex is working right now to get us on YouTube and to get us onto Twitter Live or Periscope, I think you would call that. What I, uh, what I need to figure out is, is I want to watch the YouTube stream. And then I want to be able to follow along with everybody's comments. That to me right, sounds like a fun to thing to do. You know? So you should see what's going on right now. Grande is FaceTiming with Andrew Buer, who runs our digital department. Well, he runs himself, really, is what he runs. I don't know. Tuesdays, Andrew goes to school. Try uh, you know? unplugging and replugging uh -huh. uh, into the And so, right? <laughs> So now Andrew is at school on FaceTime. Then, Alex is next, showing Andrew the, the iPad, uh, and they're trying to figure out how to use the, uh, the software. Uh, Linda, I don't I know how you can be. I, only you could, could solve this. I don't, I don't know, Linda. I don't know if this is exactly up here. Say that again. You know? The microphone this? jack mm -hmm. is connected in, no, no, into the, yeah. uh, the adapter that we have in the iPad. They seem to work. White, white cord. They, they seem to work just fine. They really do. This? Okay. Lots white to go today. Lots to get into that. today. Oh, this one? Including yeah, so Russell Wilson. The Anybody following this story? Okay. Unplug it. Complete that on the adapter part. So uh, Russell Wilson yeah, this? set a deadline yes, for the season. Yes, there season. you go. Sorry, there you go. Now and I don't even know what the repercussions were of, of if they need to get it done. What did that mean? Did that mean Russell Wilson started to play so? I saw a French. I don't think I think we were even to the franchise side. It happened. Wilson. Yeah, money. Who has enough money now? Uh -huh. Who does now? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. 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 Uh, maybe that's what think about this. You know that Russell Wilson spends a lot of time in San Diego, right? I didn't know that. Oh, you know? No. What did he do? Friday night. You can go to the Polo Field in Del Mar. And go there and you can go there by it. On Friday night, that's when Drew Brees has his Friday Night Lights flag football events. And there's hundreds, maybe thousands, of kids all over these fields playing flag football. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls. And... Um, you have Drew Brees over here, you've got Philip Rivers over there, you've got Russell Wilson over here, you've got a former NFL quarterback like Jeff Garcia stationed over here. Oh, wow. I mean, it is really a yeah. who's who yeah. of some current and former NFL quarterbacks. So Russell Wilson has, under the radar, been spending the last probably two or three of his off-seasons living and training here in San Diego. And now, Russell Wilson, you talk about using your leverage. I'm giving you mm -hmm. until April 15th at midnight. And after the Seahawks actually Little pulled more. the trigger and did the deal, did anybody see the video of Russell Wilson and his wife 
laying in bed last night, Basically shooting well. video on Twitter. No. Instagram. You didn't see laying, this? They, they invited us into their bedroom? I will say, um, I understand why high visibility pro athletes mm -hmm. want to be in constant communication with their audience, you know? But, but aren't there some things ever Off limits. that should just not necessarily have to be tweeted? I don't want to be in anybody's bathroom. Well, that's just it. I mean, I'm in Russell Wilson and his wife, Ciara. Mm -hmm. We're here? literally in bed with the two of them. He doesn't have a shirt on. Mm -hmm. oh, you can see his chains around his neck. He's got his arm underneath her neck and her head, so she's laying right there on his chest. And he's talking to Seattle like, yo, Seattle. I'm in bed with my girl. We got it done. Yeah, y'all. Like, yeah. I'm like, Russ. Wow. <laughs> really, dude? A preview before like, the big show. Like uh -huh. in your bed, bro? Like, really? Like you you feel like like every aspect of your life. Like my sister, I'll give you an example. My sister is one of the all time worst. Okay? Everything oh, that she Allison's does now, is on Facebook. I mean everything that she does now. is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Her and her husband have conversations with yeah, each I other it. It on good. Facebook in front of everybody to sing. I love you, you. I love I'm you, you. you're so wonderful, you're perfect, and I love you, Linda now. life is great, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, is it really like that? It's ridiculous. Yeah, we can hear Linda now, too. It's ridiculous. That's, um... Okay, so that's we're good, dangerous. dude. That's usually the curse. I think we're good. But that's, what, do I, that stuff. But you, that's what I'm saying. YouTube. Russell Wilson much and his wife in better. bed at night. And what is he doing wearing jewelry to bed? I, I listen, I'm a lot, a lot of jewelry. How can you do that? Know, like Mr. T. Yeah, yeah everyone's saying you know, audio is good yeah. on YouTube. Like Mr. T starter kit. Maybe I'll just do it on YouTube. All right, we're just getting started. Maybe I'll just do it on Padres on the mind after their loss last night and a quick two-game series against Colorado. They'll play again tonight. 6-10 is game time. We'll get to that. This Russell Wilson story is certainly on our minds mm -hmm. today. John Clayton, who is in Seattle and who covers the Seahawks, that's his primary team. John Clayton, the longtime ESPN NFL insider, now with the Washington Post. John Clayton, on Russell Wilson setting the deadline and getting his money. John Clayton, coming up next on Scott and BR. San Diego Sports Leader, the night at 1090. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. Funny, all right. Not really, huh? We are... Officially streaming. <laughs> what is wrong with these people? San Diego sports leader, the mighty people tonight. are telling me they can Why I started saving for a rainy Thank day? You, so that my future self it's, doesn't have it's to be good. stress about getting I'm a flat tire. Paying for a replacement won't Brock be the end on, of the world because I turned small monthly that. savings into I something significant. Pay yourself first with Navy Federal Savings Products. Set up monthly automatic transfers from checking to savings and earn up to six is, times the national average. Hey, Alex, how do we find Navy the uh, YouTube stream so I can watch it on my phone and I can follow along with comments? Open to the Armed Forces, DOD, veterans, and their families. Rates compared to national rates for deposits that are reported by the FDIC on March 4th, 2019 for similar products. Insured by NCUA. You want another truck or a truck like no other? The all-new Ram 1500. Motor Trends 2019 yeah, Truck of the Year. Okay, so During the Ram Spring Sales so Event, while qualified returning FCA lessees get a low mileage lease on the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 Big One Crew. So should I check? Two for two eighty nine a month for thirty six months with four thousand two ninety nine to its time. Tax title license extra. Call one eight seven seven Ram five seven two two for lease details. Requires dealer contribution at least to credit. Oh, this is wrong. Lease must end by five four twenty. Twenty five cents charge for each mile over three thousand. Residency restrictions apply. Can deliver by four thirty. Guardians of the Grass, run with us. On a John Deere X300 Select we're good Series on lawn YouTube. tractor, yeah. we're built for versatility. Because when you take pride in your lawn, you YouTube do it now. all. You mulch, bag, haul, grow, mow, and a whole lot more. And that's why the X300 Series takes care of everything, with attachments for all your spring and summer projects. Because you're not just doing yard work, you're creating common ground for the whole neighborhood to enjoy. Nothing runs like a deer. Run with us. Search John Deere X300 for more. It's time yeah, for some straight talk. Picture this. Your okay, favorite cool. team is playing. You're streaming the, the game. Ten good. seconds left. Your team shoots. Oops. Your data runs out. Look, don't let that happen. Switch to Straight Talk Wireless and get 25 gigs of high-speed data, all on America's largest and most dependable 4G LTE networks. Join Team Straight Talk and get unlimited talk and text plus 25 gigs of high-speed data for just $45 a month. Straight Talk Wireless. Everything for less. Only at Walmart. What do you got? Can you still hear us?
on YouTube now. Now I got. Now I'm here. All right. Uh, hey everybody. Let me see these comments. Uh, thank you, Frank Span, for loving the show on uh, on YouTube. About 30 seconds behind, I'd say. Are you on YouTube for sure? Uh huh. Yeah. All the big ones for the. Well, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of comments on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, we finally fixed the audio. There was a couple of switches we had this to get guy right. Tanner says he's a longtime radio listener and thanks to his father, and he makes we make his drive home better. Mm. Thank you, dude. By the way, it was the switch that I Sounds pulled good. out, so we need to turn on. What's up? Sounds good. Great friends, Scott and BR and the Mighty 1090. We are streaming live on our app. We are currently right now on YouTube. I'm watching everything that's going on. YouTube is perfect. Uh, YouTube, I'm told, is perfect. Linda's mic is on. Alex's mic is on. Everybody is uh, starting to. Everybody's good now. Linda, let me let me get a test of you. And uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. Good. And by the way, if you backed up like three feet, just backed up straight to the wall. Then everybody would get a chance to see lovely Linda Welby. Billy, if you put that microphone down right here by you, yeah, if you put that mic down, everybody can get. Oh, it didn't work out so well. There you go. Come down. Um, not exactly. I was kind of trying to push the whole thing. Now pull it towards you, Billy. Then pull it. forget pull it. Pull it towards me. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not worried. Yeah. No, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> I can tell. You have no interest in helping me no, in any way. Of course oh, I here, do. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I don't like it like that. I understand, but now we can all see Linda. Now we can see Linda. Now you're in the shot, yes. Where are my lovely yeah. captions right there? Yeah, that's the camera right there. Now we're all on YouTube. And I just posted at Scott Kaplan on Twitter a link how you can watch what's going on on YouTube. So a lot of people are liking it, and I'm getting a lot of comments. This is really cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let me go to the Corky's Hotline. That is where my man, John Clayton, is standing by our longtime NFL insider, he covers the Seattle Seahawks. He writes for the Washington Post. You can find him all over the place, Clayton Football. Hi, John Clayton. How are you? Good. How's everything going? Going pretty good. Strange times here in the radio business in Southern California. Have you, so I gathered from the things that I read last week. Yeah. <laughs> Have you read the article that was published yesterday by the San Diego Reader? The curtain closes on the mighty 1090 Scott Kaplan. Did you know the curtain closed on me? Oh, no. I know last week because I was reading Jason Barrett's uh, weekly publication. No, it's the Mighty 1090. <coughs> the Mighty 1090, sorry. Sorry, Cousin 2. Right, we, right, the Mighty 1090 uh, gave birth to the Mighty 1090. So it's really yeah, very much right. all, of, all in the same thing. Okay. And, and it's more development. Because oh, what's the latest? Well, apparently the curtains closed on, on only one person at the stage of Scott Kaplan. That's right. I mean, no, so what, what does that mean? <laughs> You're no longer working for the, I mean, is it, is it, it's closed permanently? Well, uh, just on Scott. Yeah, right. It's only the Apparently, curtain. whoever wrote it, yeah. Yeah, curtains closed on Scott Kaplan. Only on me, John. At Mighty 1090. Right, everybody else. I, so that must mean we're all safe, except for Scott. <laughs> okay. No, nobody knew this. But, no. uh, so we're going to have a party, and you, you want to come? I, uh, yeah. Okay, I great. Mean, I get, that's the great part. You know, it's a communication <laughs> business. There's no communication. Now, there are whispers that it might be fake news. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. But we're looking into it. That's right. There's also some other fake news that's been <coughs> rolling around out there. Um, John, have you heard that former Charger linebacker Sean Merriman is buying the Mighty 1090? That I had not heard. <coughs> that would be news. Mm -hmm. That is news. I mean, he's could, it, could it happen? Well, not only could it happen, we believe that the reason Sean Merriman wants to buy the Mighty 1090 is twofold. One, so that he Can can broadcast his Can Extreme Fighting League, Lights Out Extreme Fighting.
Russell Wilson setting a deadline for the Seahawks, the Seahawks meeting the deadline, making him the highest paid player in the NFL, and then Russell Wilson's strange bedtime video with his wife. Give me your full-blown analysis, John Clayton. Well, I mean, it was a midnight deadline, and so uh, I guess at midnight, even though he was very involved in the negotiations, he wanted to get the word out that he was staying. And I didn't think it was going to happen because his agent, Mark Rogers, is a baseball agent, and he drives too hard of a bargain. I mean, he, you know, he thinks Kirk Cousins' deal is like the ideal way to do things, and he wants, you know, because all, all the deals for baseball guys are guaranteed, and you only get pretty much two years of guarantees in the NFL. So the negotiations are going nowhere. But what I thought was that if Russell Wilson got involved at the end, which he did in bed with his wife uh, on a phone, getting because I get because obviously his bed's not going to be over at the Seahawks facility, but um, <laughs> they uh, you know so he got involved in the <laughs> end and he really wanted to stay here, and so the deal was they were going to offer him thirty four thirty five million. They wanted to guarantee seventy. They didn't necessarily want to give him a sixty five million dollar signing bonus. But what I started thinking of the dynamics, I was saying on the air for about a week. I said, if Russell Wilson gets involved in the end, now remember, the Seahawks have this little uh, thing where they don't like to give second-year guarantees. They like to do the guarantees, big money, but guarantees if you're on the roster five days after the Super Bowl and you get your roster, uh, your uh, base salary guaranteed. They like to do that. Well, you know, naturally, Russell it has wants something the full to do with guarantee. That because now it's fine. All right, well, John. I'm, I'm, by the way, don't mind me. I'm talking. I'm talking right over you, and because I'm, I'm trying to stream. I'm listening to you. I'm very concentrated on everything you're saying. You, were, you keep going, please. Okay. So what? So what happened is, uh, like I said on the air, and he, I don't know if he listened or just happened to figure it out himself. I said, just ask for more of a signing bonus because if you do that, you know you're not going to get cut. They give him more. They take money out of the base salaries for the next couple years. Give him sixty-five million to sign a five million dollar base guarantee, so he gets seventy of his hundred and forty million dollars that uh, he gets now this year as opposed to what he would have got for a $17 million base this year, 30 on the franchise tag, 36 on the franchise tag for two years. He would have had Kirk Cousins' contract at three for 83. In this deal, he gets 70 this year, and he's going to get 140 over four years. Wow. Russell Wilson, oh, what a story, right? I mean, for a guy who, when you really back this whole story up, is too short to play quarterback he's at north carolina state where he's having a really great career wants to play football and baseball and as the story goes john the football coach says you can't play baseball as a graduate student guy who had already graduated from college he transfers to wisconsin right plays Mm -hmm. one year at wisconsin becomes a third round draft choice and the year that the seahawks draft him they had another quarterback that they had signed as a free agent from the Green Bay Packers. If anybody can come up with this guy's name, other than John Clayton, I'll be really impressed. They paid this guy a fortune, but Russell Wilson as a rookie came in and beat him out. Now he's 30 years old. If you look at Drew Brees, who's 40, if you look at Tom Brady, who's 40-plus, if you look at how long Peyton Manning played, Russell Wilson should be with one Super Bowl championship under his belt and another Super Bowl appearance at 30 years old coming into the prime of his career. I mean, to me, the Seahawks have made an investment in their franchise. What do you think, John? Oh, Clayton? no, it was, it was excellent because even though it was more signing bonus that they want, you knew this deal had to come in over Aaron Rodgers because it was a year later. And so uh, if they would have done it next year, he was going to probably get 37 or $38 million. So now you get him for 30, $35 million. You know, He gets the $70 million guaranteed. And if you look at his career, he's won more games than any other quarterback since coming into the league in 2012. He has... He's one of the best fourth-quarter comeback guys. He is uh, very good in the community. Uh, and also, I mean, you look at his numbers throwing deep, he's fantastic. And so it's a good deal. I mean, if he goes to one more Super Bowl, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Russell Wilson's a great player. I really do. He's one of my favorite players in the league to really watch. Really exciting. One of yeah. my favorite players in the league to cover, and I always love coming up to Seattle for games. John Clayton is here, and John gets to cover the Seahawks, gets to see this Russell Wilson story up close and personal. Hey, John, we're right around the corner from the draft. I'm curious, is Kyler Murray considered the number one overall pick? And if so, what are the Arizona Cardinals going to do? What's the word? Yeah, I mean, it seems like they're still leaning on a – Steve Keim came out today. The general manager had a press conference and said they haven't decided. But you know they have to figure out which way it's going to go. So I still think in the end that they are going to take Kyler Murray. 
it's no guarantee. They could still go with Joey Bosa, but I think that's what the plan is going to be. I think that the, you know they've gone so far with him. You can see he's going to be exciting with Cl- Cliff Kingsbury's offense, and uh, he's got a great arm, great athletic ability, and he kind and really he needs to send a thank you if it does happen to Russell Wilson. Because if it weren't for Russell Wilson at 5'10 five, five, and 5'8, the 5'10 and 1'8 uh, Kyler Murray would not be a first round pick. He'd probably be a third. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. Yep. Ru- Russell Wilson has defied the odds. He mm-hmm. did it from the time he showed up, he did it with his physical abilities, with his leadership abilities. And uh, last year was one of the really interesting years of his career because with all those defensive players moving on, Russell Wilson still had the Seahawks very competitive with a pretty young team around him, right, John? Yeah, no doubt they were the youngest team in football. And what people don't uh, they forget, you know, as uh, it was a running offense. Maybe they ran a little bit too much, but it was in the first year of changing to a running offense with DJ Fluker being one of the lead run blockers. Uh, but they ended up averaging in the second half of the season 30 points a game. They scored 240 points over the last eight weeks, mm. 30 points a game. Think about that for an offense that was anemic for two years. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, I was up there this year a couple of games, and it was late in the season, too. They really turned things around. It was very impressive how Pete Carroll and is it John Schneider? Is that the, the general Schneider, manager? Correct. Yeah, and, and Russell Wilson, I mean, that, that is the alignment there, the head coach, the general manager, the quarterback. I mean, that to me is organizational security. We're talking to John Clayton, who now is a columnist with the Washington Post, our longtime NFL insider. How about the story of Demarius Thomas signing with the Patriots? What happened there? Well, you know, he's had the Achilles, so he's coming off the Achilles. Now they're saying it's a deal that could be worth up to $6 million, and usually uh, they're about $4 million off when they say that because it has to hit every incentive. I still remember P.J. Williams re-signing with the Saints, and they said that he got a one-year $5 million deal, and in the end he got uh, you know, $2 million. So you figure it's a deal that uh, they're taking a chance that he, as a former $14 million wide receiver, can come back from the Achilles, give them a big target, and kind of work one of the, you know, right now a very thin wide receiving core. All right, John Clayton with NFL news and notes in the offseason headed towards the NFL draft. John, it is great to talk to you. Streaming worldwide on the Mighty 1090 app and lots of commentary coming in on our live YouTube stream. John, next time we talk, who knows, maybe we'll be back on the radio. Well, let's hope. Let's hope everything. Let's just hope you're back on. There you go. There you go. Right on, John. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, John. Thanks. John Clayton, longtime ESPN NFL insider, longtime Scott and BR. Mm -hmm. Great friend. All right, coming up, as we're streaming live today on the app, on YouTube, Alex, are we also on Twitter Live now, or are we not? Yes. Okay. I just put a link up on our Facebook and Twitter page to show everybody everywhere you can find us. Okay, now. great, great. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Things happen. We're Like I said, we're, this is like catastrophic stuff that is forcing us to do this, and we're happy to do it mm-hmm. because I will tell you this. I was today in Liberty Station. By the way, people rave about Liberty Station. Mm-hmm. I can't take the airplanes flying over every 30 seconds. Mm. I mean, it's utterly annoying. Yeah, we're used to it over there. Yeah, I mean, I, I really mm-hmm. thought to myself, could I get used to it? You know, I mean, I can hear the train in Solana Beach, but it's not every 30 seconds. Mm. Oh, by the way, I saw a really scary thing today as I was heading towards the airport. I'm heading down the 5 freeway, right? And this plane is coming to land. And then all of a sudden, the pilot jerks the plane and brings it back up because he must have overshot the the, the runway or maybe undershot the runway. Whatever, mm. dude. He went from you know I'm right off the ground and right over the freeway to yep, change my mind. Yep, going. I was. I just felt so bad for all those people on I that know, plane who I were know. just dying. Right. Like, what's going on? What did he do? Why are we doing this? You know, was he drinking last I night? Know, you know. I so. know. Anyway. So you don't like Liberty Station? It's not that I don't like Liberty Station. Here was the point. I was in Liberty Station today, and I'm standing there, and I'm with a few other friends. We're, we're having some, some conversations, and a gentleman walks by me in a Padres hat, mm-hmm. and he says, good luck. And i like, was he talking to me? And he turned around, and he goes, yeah, I'm talking to you. He goes, hey, man, I, I really hope that you get that radio station, and you get it back to where it should be. And, you know, I'm just wishing you and all your colleagues over at the Mighty 1090 all the love and all the luck. And I was like, Whoa. Thank you. You know, when people say that to me, mm-hmm. that makes me go from, you know, maybe my radio career is kind of winding down and maybe I'll do something else versus I got to get back on the air mm-hmm. and we got to dominate all over again. You know, I got the ratings today for the first three months of the year. Our show is the number two rated show in San Diego. And the only station that beats us by like a little teeny tiny bit 
is a rock and roll FM station. Mm-hmm. There is nobody in town that is touching us, and the other sports radio stations do, might as well not even exist. They should stop paying the rating service <laughs> because to see themselves at the bottom of the ratings is worthless for them and their advertisers. It's shocking that we could be kicking as much ass as we are. I know. And be off the air. But we're working on it. And the great the friends way, are amazing. Not to toot our own horn. Yeah. Still kicking ass, just not on the radio. Right. It's the, crazy. Right. The streaming numbers. It's legit crazy. It mm-hmm. is ridiculous. What's going on? So the great friends have come to our rescue. And we are working behind the scenes to get this radio show and this radio station back onto the radio airwaves. No, your tweets are getting a lot of people excited and confused. Why is that? Uh, talking about p- building a gym here. Yeah. And catering lunches. Correct. So you're talking as if that when word is coming back. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Look, when we take over 10 yeah, are you Are you over your skis or what are you doing? A little over my skis. Okay. If and when. Oh, somebody over their skis unblocked me on Twitter. Oh, really? Yep. That oh. was interesting. When? Covert operation to get Maybe. some information. Totally. Totally. Maybe he's trying to sway someone to leave here. When. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When we get this radio station under our control, yes, I want to build a gym. I mean, a really great gym. And yes, I want to build a catering area so that people will be here all day and go, why are you going to, why are you going to work right now? You're not on the air till 3. No, I want to get there at 11. Why? Well, they start serving lunch. And the lunches are really healthy, mm-hmm. and they don't charge us for them. They take care of us. They're and good. by the way, I've got an hour I'm going to kill on a treadmill, and then I'm going to take a shower, and I'm going to get on the air. That's right. Um, yeah. That's all great yeah. and beautiful and, mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. But when... You take over. Yeah. Um, there's certain television situation mm-hmm. in my area yeah, gotta that get needs that to be rectified. Yeah, I'll, I'll handle that okay. for you. I'll handle that. Can I, I, I'm, I'm going to have a rule. No box TVs. Oh. No box TVs. I mean, that's kind of a rule in, in, in America life. now. Yeah, but right. It's kind of a thing. I'm going to make that a rule here at 1090. Can we also get like a C's candy shop? Just a small one? Just like a satellite? Anything for you. Thank you. Whatever you need. That's all I want. All right, coming up. Let me tell you something interesting. I'm going to take... I'm going to do something that... Um, I'm not sure I would not do on radio, but I'm probably more inclined to do it while we have this time to stream. A gentleman contacted me on LinkedIn and said, you're missing the boat. The real key is you need to put the radio show on a platform called Twitch. Do you know what Twitch is? We're going to all find out why this guy says Twitch is the future. Wow. Next on Scott and BR. San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty Ten Nine. Hey, Simon. Never miss another Scott and BR interview. Too complicated for me. Yeah, I think so. Download podcast. Yeah, I was dealing with that. I'll figure it out. Mighty1090.com or the Mighty 1090 app. ASAP Drain Guys and Plumbing. So if you're watching on the YouTube feed or the Twitter feed, you're going to see what's going on here in the studio right now. And I'm telling you about the ASAP Drain Guys and Plumbing. And what I love to tell you about is that if you are listening anywhere worldwide, you could be SOL unless you are in San Diego County, Southern Orange County, or the Temecula Valley, you know, around our broadcast location when we're on the radio. Um, If you are in Southern California... In the areas I just mentioned, the ASAP Drain Guys and Plumbing, they are available to you 365 days a year and 24-hour-a-day service. And we always like to brag the fastest response time for your plumbing needs and dispatch operators ready to assist you seven days a week. So if you've got a water heater problem, if you've got a toilet issue, if you've got drain concerns, leak detection, leak repair, you know, plumbing stuff for your home, for your office, doesn't matter if it could be an apartment complex or a shopping center, no job too big or too small. The professionals at ASAP Drain Guys and Plumbing can take care of it. Here's the number, 619-404-2727, 619-404-2727, or asapdrainandplumbing.com. Jeep vehicles are world famous for giving you all kinds of freedom. The freedom of taking in more fresh air in Jeep Compass with its available panoramic dual-pane sunroof. Well-qualified returning FCA lessees get a low mileage lease on the 2019 Compass Latitude front-wheel drive for $169 a month for 36 months with $3,999 to its signing. Tax title license extra. Call 1-888-925-JEEP for details. Requires data contribution. Lease to U.S. Bank. Current lease must end by 5420. 25 cent charge for each mile or 30,000. Residency restrictions apply. Take delivery by 430. Jeep is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. All right, homeowner. If you're looking to sell a home, but you don't want to go through the hassles of the traditional real estate process, Sold Key might be exactly what you're looking for. Sold Key by Renovation Realty, online at soldkey.com. 
1-800-348-SELL. Why sold key? Well, it's faster. You can close in as slow as 10 days. It's easier. No prep work. No open houses. It'll cost less. No agent broker commission. And it offers you more control. Move on your schedule with sold key. Soldkey.com. 1-800-348-SELL. Great friends. Scott Kaplan from Scott and BR for Gary Cooper and Mountain Trust Mortgage and Realty Services. Now, I want to talk to all of the veterans, all the military veterans in Southern California. For years, I've talked about how Gary takes care of veterans, how he eliminates the smoke and mirrors and the shell games, and how he educates his clients and how he saves veterans money. Well, in support of our dedicated, active, and retired service members, Mountain Trust Mortgage is pleased to offer an innovative VA renovation loan program that's like having two loans in one with no down payment for VA eligible borrowers. The VA renovation program is available for purchase or refinance and allows for up to $50,000 in additional funding towards remodeling, renovation, and repairs. To find out about this program, call Gary Cooper, 858-376-1299, 858-376-1299, mountaintrustmortgage.com. Mountain Trust Mortgage is a DBA of NRL Mortgage Inc. and Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 181407, licensed by the Department of Business Oversight of the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. This is not a commitment to lend or extend credit. Offer is subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Real Estate. License number 01367668. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The Mighty 1090. This is a Mighty 1090 Sports Center update. At 402, I'm Linda Welby with this sports update brought to you by San Diego Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. It's time. Get up and go to San Diego Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Mission Valley or online at San Diego Jeep.com, a Sunroad dealership. Padres and the Rockies at Petco tonight. Game two of a two game series starts at 610. And the Padres have a special guest throwing out the first pitch tonight, five-year-old Carter Santos. Carter is battling leukemia, and all the great friends wishing Carter well in that battle. The Giants and the Nationals, that game's just getting started. Diamondbacks and Braves in Atlanta at 420. Dodgers hosting the Reds at 710. In the NFL, Russell Wilson, now the highest-paid player in football. Seahawks quarterback signed a four-year extension worth more than $140 million. Wilson is getting a $65 million signing bonus. Elsewhere, the Chargers and Travis Benjamin agreed to a new one-year deal. NFL Draft is next week. That's your sports update. I'm Linda Welby on the Mighty 1090. He's ready. You're listening to the Scott and BR Show on San Diego's sports leader, the Mighty 1090. Great friends, on a Tuesday afternoon, Scott and B.R. on the Mighty 1090. I'm going to get back to the Padres, going to get back to Russell Wilson, going to get to the NBA playoffs, going to get to what's trending on Twitter, all of that on the way. Plus, ESPN is now going to air the Junior Seau 30 for 30. It's going to air tonight. We're going to talk to Hank Bauer about that a little bit later on. And also, the Gulls are headed towards the playoffs. Their president, Matt Savant, will stop by. So we got a big show coming up for you. But let me just... Let me just have a couple of minutes here to go off course. You ready, everybody? Here goes. I received an email from a gentleman, and first we started to communicate on LinkedIn. Anybody use LinkedIn? Yep. Yeah, you use LinkedIn a lot? Linda? Yeah, that's actually one of the ones I started with. That was early on. Yeah, so I love LinkedIn, and I have really started to get into LinkedIn about a year ago or so. And so of all the platforms that I'm on, Twitter and Instagram and you know Facebook and Cited and everything else... LinkedIn is one that I've really found. I, I've started to develop my following there, if you will. Mm-hmm. So with all this craziness that's going on around 1090 and being taken from the air and all the national news reports that come out about it, you know, radio station pulled from the airwaves, you know, Mexican owners take back their asset. You know, it's juicy, salacious stuff, you know. And by the way, the story gets a hundred times better. Oh, yeah. And if and when <laughs> I can share it with you, I will. So I got an email from a gentleman on LinkedIn. Um uh, who was very interesting to me. His name is Don Collins. And he says, his LinkedIn bio says, more than 25 years in media, radio and TV, now focused on introducing the pros or talent of radio and television to the Twitch brand and platform, an exciting new area where talent control their own channel and build their own brand. And so I've heard this before that, you know, maybe we should be broadcasting on Twitch. So Don sends me this email. He says, look, I know this may sound a little interesting to you or you might not know a lot about it, but let me give you an example of some of your colleagues 
that have chosen to already try this. And he mentions a guy named Tony Bruno, who's been a longtime friend and colleague of mine, mm-hmm. who's a, you know one of the early pioneers of sports talk radio. He mentions a gentleman in Tampa named Bubba the Love Sponge. Oh, yeah. Always been sort of yeah. a controversial... Very blue. You know, Blue humor. Yeah, I mm-hmm. don't... He, he mentions a whole bunch of other people that have now gotten into Twitch. And he asked me, this gentleman, Don Collins, he said, give me your phone number, let's have a conversation. I'm like, Don, honestly, like right now, there's way too much going on and I don't have the bandwidth for it, but let's have the conversation on the air. Let's see what everybody has to say about it. Let's see what people think. So here he is from the San Francisco Bay Area, Northern California, checking in. He's the president of DK Media. I met him on LinkedIn. He says we should go to Twitch. Here's Don Collins on Scott and BR. Hi, Don. Hey, Scott. Hey, BR. How's things? Yeah, things are good. They're strange. Yeah, a little weird. Hey, <laughs> I keep trying to follow the headlines, and I, and I can't. Simple as that. Yeah. Don, how did we connect? I mean, how did you hear about what was going on, and what prompted you to reach out? You know what? I, I follow the uh, the radio headlines quite extensively. I'm, I'm a fan of uh, California radio, and uh, when something like this pops into the inbox, I, I look at it and went, this is crazy. This is nuts. And then, uh, you know, as I continue to follow it over the next couple of days, I'm going, where are these guys? How come? What's going on? And in the background, I'm working on my Twitch stuff with Tony Bruno and all the other shows. And I'm going, boy, this may be something. I- I'm going to reach out to Scott. And I can, you know, you can attest to this. We've never met before. We've, uh, and, I looked you up and uh, creeped you on uh, on LinkedIn and uh, and reached out and said, "Hey, dude, this is this is what I'm doing. If this interests you in the least bit, um, let's chat." And simple as that. And here we are today. You said, uh, "Hey, can we go do this on air?" And I said, "Damn right, let's do it." <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so here right. we are. So, Don, listen. Yeah. So, our radio station has been on the radio on the 1090 frequency in Southern California yeah. since 2003. Billy Ray and I put this radio station on the air. Our midday colleague Darren Smith was with us back then. Uh, we were the pioneers of this radio station. And unfortunately, market conditions, management, however you want to call it, whoever you want to blame. We have been taken off the radio airwaves in, a, in a, a, a force of defiance, if you will. Rather than saying, well, we're not on the radio, our contract says radio, we love our audience and our audience is impacted by our broadcasts and we want to stay on the air every single day that we can until they shut us down. So we've been talking to the upper management here of 1090 and their parent company about acquiring the radio station. We've been working with the owners of the transmitter down in Mexico. We're, we're making progress. But all of this has forced us to try something new and different, which, by the way, I thought we should have been doing all along. We just didn't have the people or the resources. And frankly, we didn't have the leadership. Nonetheless, Mm -hmm. this catastrophe has forced us into a a, a zone of uncomfortability. You're talking about putting our show on Twitch. My first question would be, do you work for Twitch? Uh, Actually, I I don't work for Twitch. I I have my own media company. Uh, I am a, a lover of radio. Uh, I love radio to to the ends of ends of the earth, and have uh, worked in um, major markets and put together sports stations and um, and, and managed them. Um, right now, I'm not in the radio business. I was in 95.7 The Game in San Francisco. Uh, then, when Intercom and CBS merged, um, I uh, I had the uh, side door that they showed me, and then I started my own company. Um, how I got into this side of Twitch was intrigue at a sports conference in phoenix when i found out about what bubba is doing and how he is uh working the platform and how important it is for what twitch does is provide you with it 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 pulls the curtain back of radio and your listeners your p1s your audience get to not only hear you they get to see you and they get to chat with you live on the twitch platform and um, I know you guys are up on your uh, technical stuff. Uh, the Twitch platform now is bringing in the website 115 million hits a month. It is ranked in the top 15 websites in North America. That's pretty big. And when you look at all the channels that are starting up, and I'm I'm just working with the pros. I I this is what I I love radio. So and I know how important it is to have that radio on this platform i think this is the is the way to go and for radio stations i believe that every radio station should have a twitch channel 
and be broadcasting from their control room. Um, you know, I, I've talked to a few PDs, and they've uh, all said that, you know, the best parts of the show are some of the stuff that goes on in the control room right. and behind the scenes. Right, totally. This Off air that up. commercials. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're, we're talking to Don yeah. Collins. He's got a company in San Francisco called DK Media. He reached out on LinkedIn and said, you should get a Twitch channel. Now, now Don, I have to be completely upfront here. I I use Twitter, I use Facebook, I use Instagram, I'm starting to use YouTube, I use LinkedIn, and I use the own, the platform that we've created for radio professionals called Cited. And the, the, the platform that we've created is a way for radio professionals to create content, therefore um, sending it out and creating engagement, and then being able to monetize the engagement that they've created while simultaneously allowing the user to to bank points for their participation, their opinions, their contribution to the platform, and those points can eventually be redeemed. So my mind has been on the future of of assets that radio needs to complement it. What don't we know about Twitch that makes Twitch an attractive place for us to consider putting our show on? The attractive part about Twitch is that it is not uh, a platform that is going after ma and pa shops for their dollars. It's not going after the $10,000 from the muffler shop or the, or the bar down the street. Where Twitch is very successful and is, uh, is raking in a pile of money is by feeding off the P1s of your brand. So your listeners love you. They have the option to follow you, to listen to you, to chat with you on a Twitch channel for free. doesn't cost a thing. What we know is that followers become subscribers at a rate of uh, 1% to 3%. That is where the money comes from. It's from your loyal listeners and your followers. That brand that you have built over these years, and the listeners come, and they, they pay you. And Wait a second. How, how does that work? How, how does that work exactly? So a guy like Tony Bruno, for example, who, for, mm-hmm. if you're a sports radio fan in Southern California, chances are you know who Tony Bruno is, particularly because for years Tony Bruno hosted the Fox Sports Morning Show, and uh, and that aired in uh, you know in Southern California. So a lot of people will be familiar with Bruno's work. How does a guy like Tony Bruno monetize putting his radio show on Twitch video? He broadcasts um, now a three-hour show per day. Mm-hmm. He, his, he asks his followers through social media to come and follow him. Mm-hmm. Click on the little uh, uh, purple heart in the top uh, right-hand corner and follow his program. By clicking on the little purple heart, it means you will get a notification every time Tony goes live, mm-hmm. whether he does it at 9 o'clock in the morning or he's doing an event at night. Whenever he goes live on his Twitch channel, every one of his followers get a notification. Mm-hmm. That disruption, that disruption is gold. Uh, I mean, we've, we've u- tried to use that in radio for uh, 25, 30 years. How do we get people to notify them, to tell them, hey, we're on now? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, uh, it's fantastic. From there, um, he brings his followers in. Then once you hit affiliate status, which is pretty easy, uh, you know, a week and a half of a regular radio show and you've got affiliate status. And once you get affiliate status, then people can subscribe to your channel. Mm-hmm. Four ninety nine is a subscription. You get a commercial free experience from Twitch. You get some emojis and emoticons. You know, keep in mind that Twitch is a streamer's uh, world, mm-hmm. so it works in the emotes of things like that. And... Um, the good part is Twitch is owned by Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, you get to give a subscription to Tony for free every month. So when you look at four ninety nine a month and you get to give that to Tony, that's where he makes his money. And it doesn't come out of your pocket if you've got Amazon Prime, which is sweet deal in itself. This is an interesting thing. Let me let me just reintroduce our guest. This is Don Collins from DK Media in San Francisco. He reached out to me on LinkedIn and he's suggesting that we put the radio show onto Twitch and that the listeners is if I understand what you're saying, the listeners can choose to, should they want to, should they be motivated to, should they be inspired to, etc. The listener can pay the host directly. Is that is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, exactly. and, and does Tony Bruno, uh, again, a, a famous, national, well-respected, likable sports radio mm-hmm. host, does, do people actually say, hey, Tony, I really enjoy you. You, 
You make me laugh. Let me give you a $5 tip. Because in this world of gig economy that we live in, everybody expects a tip everywhere you go. My friend who is a musician, rather than having a tip jar, she now has a sign that says, here's my Venmo. And people will Venmo her. My idea, by the way. So um, (laughs) in this gig economy that we're living in where, where, you know, we don't have a tip jar here, you're saying that listeners will tip the hosts. Absolutely. You know what? And uh, here's what we'll do. We'll build your channel and we'll put a tip jar right on the front page so then uh, people can actually give you that. Uh, There's also um, other forms of revenue that you can bring in. It's called bits. So uh, let's say Scott and BR do a great job of uh, telling me of why the Warriors lost a 33-point lead last night and choked at the end and lost to the Clippers. If I like that, I can throw you some bits. A bit is a penny, but it adds up quickly. And when you look at uh, you know, Bubba, who has a great following, his leaderboard of bits has people that have given you know, almost $2,200, $1,500, $700, and that, 100% of that goes right into the host's pockets. Wow, that's no crazy. That's yeah, it's, a, it's pretty amazing where this streaming world has, has gone. You've got a, you've got a kid... Uh, whose name is Ninja, who streams mm-hmm. um, Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, and he made $10 million last year. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, uh, it, it, it's pretty crazy. And it's on this format where uh, Twitch is expanding quickly. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, it's, a, it's a platform to really be taken seriously by let the broadcast. Let, let me ask sure. you this, Don. Um, so we're using YouTube right now. And, and people, mm-hmm. will, people ask me all the time, what's the difference between Sided and Twitter? And I have to explain to them that Cited is what's called a minimal viable product. It's an, it's an MVP software term. That just means that we've, we've created this to prove that it works. And Twitter is a full-blown platform that's been you know, built for years and years and years by the engineers, but also very much so by the audience. And so people say, well, what's the difference? And I have to try and explain, well, we're doing polling, but we're also doing deep opinion. We're doing data collection. We're, we're doing all the things that, that are going to get the right advertisers to the right people. Uh, mm-hmm. What's the difference between Twitch and YouTube? YouTube is, uh, I mean, you can make a lot of money off YouTube by sending in your videos and things like that. The YouTube, you, uh, uh, you will eventually, if you send in a lot of videos, uh, and I've heard this from a couple people, that uh, they will eventually throttle you down, and you can't submit so many. Um, they don't want to pay you about, as much. They don't want to share right. as much revenue yeah. with you. Okay, got it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, what difference with Twitch is they promote that as going, no, please, the, the longer, this is, Twitch is really giving you your own personal television station and saying, go, be great, do whatever you want with it, have a lot of fun. And by the way, you can, you can broadcast 24-7, 365, and we love you for it. Let me ask you this. That, um, do, do these guys that are using Twitch, do they, like we're using today, Alex, what, what do you call this? Is it called Mevo? Yeah, it's just a Mevo camera. Yeah, we're using a Mevo camera. I think Mevo is the brand of the of the hardware. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. we're just using one camera. Are, are you finding that Tony Bruno or Bubba the Love Sponge or anybody that's now using Twitch and is, and is ahead of the curve, do they have a lot of technology, a lot of hardware? Do they have switchers so you can use multiple cameras? Are they, are they deeply invested into hardware? Uh, you know what? You can, you can invest into it as much as you want. I have uh, some channels that are broadcasting off their iPhone and a tripod. Um, I use a, a Logitech 910, 920 um, a webcam with 165 bucks. Uh, that and my webcam off my laptop. That's all I use. Um, you know, Bubba the Love Sponge probably has um, equivalent of about six to eight thousand dollars in equipment, and don't quote me on that. But it's it's also he's got a lot of switching going on. Mm-hmm. Tony Bruno, lucky he's got the greatest uh, co-host and producer in Robin. Miss Robin is the genius, and she's got I think two to three cameras that she works around, but very minimal cost, mm-hmm. and, and that's the beauty of it. I mean, this is built for streamers, the young kids that are streaming games. Uh, in their basements to the world, and uh, they didn't have a lot of um, uh, equipment and money, and the platform was built for them. And it really resonated to me 
that you can be a broadcast facility, you can be a show like yours to have two or three cameras, a minimal cost, a little bit of lighting, and you are ready to go. This is really cool. Yeah, I, is. Don, I am really glad you and I connected on LinkedIn. I will call you off air. Let's go deeper into how we do this, how fast it can happen, um, how we can go about sharing this information with our, our audience. Don, I really appreciate your time, and I look forward to talking to you off the air. Hey, really nice to meet you guys. Um, chin up. Things will get better, and I'm sure glad I had the opportunity to talk with you guys today. Yes, appreciate sir. it. Thanks, appreciate John. you. Don Collins, that's with a K, K-O-L-L-I-N-S, DK Media in San Francisco, connected me by uh, link, connected to me by LinkedIn, was reading these stories, said, hey, we got to talk about you guys getting your show on Twitch. I said, dude, I do not have the time off air right now, but I, this does sound like something that's sort of important. So business getting done on the stream waves here at mm-hmm. Scott and BR. What do you yes, think about sir. that? What do you think? No, I thought that was a great interview. The best question, because I was sitting there just thinking the whole time, well, what's the difference between YouTube and Twitch? I'm so glad you asked that. However, I'm, I did kind of wonder, do people do both? Because well, I know, one, you say kind of they, they limit you or they try to cap you out on the YouTube, and it's more lucrative, it sounds like, on Twitch. But, it, but it's my opinion that you should be as many places as you can be. I agree. So if so if YouTube does one thing and Twitch does another, maybe some person likes YouTube and a younger person likes Twitch, right. and we need to go to where the people are, not expect them to come to where we are. I like this idea. I'll be curious to see. Alex, I think I've been looking at some software that you can broadcast on, call it Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, I mean, like like a certain pieces of software that can compress everything and then spread it out to all the different platforms. You familiar with anything like this? Yeah, for sure. Um, we, we're doing it right now. We're, we're With one camera, we're doing it on two different platforms. Right, so we're, we're right now on Periscope. This is at Scott and BR on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And then we're on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I think that if you were to go to YouTube and you were to um, you know look around, you're like, hey, where do I find you guys? I think the, uh, the channel is called Scott Kaplan Vlog. Like v- you could just L- search Scott Kaplan on YouTube. It'll oh, really? Pop up. Yep. And, and it pops up? Yep. Okay, because I was worried about the word Your blog. subscribers have increased. Really? From like, like 10 to like 225. Get out. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Get out of time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, very and, good. Uh, if you want to find us, if you're listening, I've put all the links up on Facebook and on Twitter. All right, there you go. Grande Alejandro Padilla, it is 420. It's Scott and BR. Actually just passed. And I think everybody knows what time it is. It's time for the highlight of the day, man. Get ready to be happy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for a little ride. Are you not entertained? This is going to be dope, dude. So prepare to be amazed. Enjoy the ride. We love Kevin Harlan around here, correct? Love Kevin Harlan. Kevin Harlan has become... You were there when this piece of audio happened. Hey, somebody has run out on the field. Some goofball in a hat. And a red shirt. Now he takes off the shirt. He's running down the middle by the 50. He's at the 30. He's bare-chested and banging his chest. Now he runs the opposite way. He runs at the 50. He runs at the 40. The guy is drunk, but there he goes. The 20. They're chasing him. They're not going to get him. Waving his arms, bare-chested. Somebody stop Look that out. man. Here comes the blue coat, Kevin. Oh, they got him. Here comes They're coming the blue from the coat. Oh, and they tackle him at the 40-yard line. <laughs> And I you was, told the story that he was almost embarrassed. He thought he was going to get in trouble. I've told for doing this. That. I've told this story before. That that game was two years ago. It was opening night. It was the L.A. Rams at the San Francisco 49ers. Harlan does this whole thing. We're all dying laughing. We leave the stadium. It's me. It's Kevin Harlan. It's Kurt Warner. Howie Denneroff, our producer, and a guy by the name of Andrew Bach. Andrew Bach is an executive with an app called TuneIn, where, by the way, you can hear the Mighty 1090 on the TuneIn app, although we prefer you to use our app, the Mighty 1090 app. So um, the five of us are in the car, and this is the night where Kurt Warner and I shared a date at oh, In-N-Out yeah, Burger. Oh, a nice little burger date. And Kevin Harlan gets in the car, and I say to Kevin, I go, Kevin, your whole you know, bare-chested thing, it's gone completely viral. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, well... You know, that whole bit you did, it's it's all over. It's everywhere. So I pull up Twitter, and I play it for him. And I'm playing, that guy is drunk. Hit the 30. He's at the 50. Right. Hey, Arr. somebody stop that man. <laughs> and Kevin Harlan is in the car going, did I embarrass the network? Are they going to fire me? You know, did I let them? I'm like, Kevin, you were brilliant. It was, it was hilarious. Yeah, it was Your genius. money, you know, stop being so insecure. And so that was that night. This was two years ago on opening night. Now he's Rams having and now he's having a lot of fun on the NBA on TNT broadcast. He, he has to read a lot of promos. I don't know if you watch a, a lot of basketball on TNT. He's got a lot of promos to read. But yesterday it wasn't a promo. The Philadelphia 
at the 76ers uh, arena, they have a, a promotion where if an opposing player in the fourth quarter misses back-to-back free throws, so if he gets fouled and he has two shots, if he misses both, fans in the arena get a free Frosty from Wendy's. Mm-hmm. And Kevin Harlan and Reggie Miller had some fun with that last night. That Frosty, it's on the line here if he misses it. Uh-oh. They can taste it. Yes, they, they can. They can feel it. They can see it. Oh, it's a frosty for everybody. Slurp it and enjoy it. What did he say? Slurp it and Slurp enjoy it. it. And enjoy it. Slurp it and enjoy it. When was the last time you've had a frosty from um, Wendy's? In a while. Cause, a while. Because when Billy Ray and I would have like road trips, mm. we would stop at Wendy's. We both Big liked time. Wendy's. Oh, we're oh, Wendy's, Wendy's is good. Wendy's, but you, Wendy's the, is good. There's mm. the frosty shop in PB. Mm. Mm, like no other. Like, Wait. do you like the Wendy's? It's called the Frosty Show. Oh, I thought you were saying that there's a, sh- a particular Wendy's that has good no, Frosties. No, it's better than Wendy's. Well, I believe that. But no, it's so not. good. But, you know, the, th- the thing I never liked about the Frosty is that you can't get it through a straw. It's it's more of a spoon. It's not a drink. A, a Frosty it, it is not a drink. It becomes a straw drink halfway through. Yeah, but it's not intended to be a straw no. drink. It's intended to be an ice cream with a spoon. Or like the straw with the scoop at the bottom of it. That's pretty good, like um, the Slurpee. But straws aren't allowed anymore, so how are we doing that? Well, I have a problem with that. I mean, people not allowing straws. I mean, I'm very into straws still. I like straws, and too. And I don't like paper straws because they fall apart. Mm, yeah, they do. Mm. Kevin Harlan also had a promotion to read for Whoppers yeah. from Burger King. Mm. And he had well, he's doing everything. <laughs> Here in Philadelphia tonight, the NBA playoffs on TNT are brought to you by Burger King. Hit the Angry Whopper, and it's back with a spicy kick. The Angry Whopper! <laughs> Only at Burger King. And by <laughs> Kia, the official automotive partner of the NBA. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Angry Whopper at Burger I'm King. Like an Angry Whopper right inside my angry stomach. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Kevin oh Harlan. My God. All right, Kevin That's Harlan. awesome. Making it to the highlight of the day. Coming up, speaking of the NBA, how about this? Charles Barkley is on national television begging LeBron James to please come be a playoff analyst Ooh. since he's not a playoff participant. You're going to hear what Sir Charles said to the King next on Scott and BR. San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. The Mighty 1090 Hotline is presented by Corky's. We're your pest control company, San Diego. Total T Clinic. I hope the Total T Clinic knows that as I'm building a gym here at the Mighty 1090, and as I'm catering lunches here at the Mighty 1090, I'm also providing to all men who work here at the Mighty 1090 free Total T testing. Every guy who works at the Mighty 1090 going forward will be a Total T patient. I will personally know everybody's T levels. And if your T levels are below satisfactory rates, I'm going to send you to the Total T Clinic. In fact, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to bring the Total T Clinic here to the Mighty 1090 and have everybody on testosterone shots because let me tell you something. Um, I personally like to go to the Total T Clinic and I will take my testosterone by shot. Now, a lot of times when I say that, the guys at the Total T Clinic are like, dude, would you please not say that because people get freaked out by needles. True. You know you can have your testosterone delivered to your home. You know you can deliver it yourself. You don't have to go to the Total T Clinic office. I like to because all the girls who work there are smoking hot, plus they're playing the office in the waiting room, so I like to sit there and watch the show. All I'm saying to you is, is that if shots aren't your thing or if you can't make the time to go to the Total T Clinic, there are other ways to make sure that you get your testosterone and get your levels at peak performance levels. I said levels twice. Total T Clinic. TotalTClinic.com. Get your testosterone levels checked for free. TotalTClinic.com. The Golf Mart, home of the 90-day, 100% satisfaction guarantee and largest selection of new golf products. Do you want another truck or a truck like no other? The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. During the Ram Spring sales event, well-qualified returning FCA lessees get a low-mileage lease on the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x2 for $289 a month for 36 months with $4,299 due at signing. Tax title license extra. Call 1-877-RAM-5722 for lease details. Requires dealer contribution to lease through Chrysler Capital. Current lease must end by 5420. 25 cent charge for each mile over 30,000. Residency restrictions apply. Take delivery by 430. At Kaiser Permanente, we're for the farmer's market goers, outdoor explorers, cholesterol lowerers, and positive thinkers. We're also for our community. That's why we invest in efforts that provide support to nonprofits 
and our thriving schools create an environment that makes nutrition and physical activity a top priority. Helping you live a healthy life the way you see fit. That's what it means to thrive your way every day. Kaiser Permanente. Visit kp.org to learn more. Well, hello, my friends. It is Woodsy for Clearview Eye and Laser Medical Center. Thinking about going out, checking out a ball game, but I don't know, your glasses fog up or your allergies are bothering you. Can't get your contacts in. It happened to me. It happened to me forever until I went in and got LASIK by Dr. Sandy T. Feldman at Clearview Eye and Laser Medical Center. Went to get my procedure in July of 2010. It is now 2019. I still have incredible vision. 2015, thank you to Dr. Sandy T. Feldman. Oh, and you know the best part that people forget about? Wearing sunglasses when you go to a ball game to watch. You don't have to mess with your glasses, bringing extra glasses, wearing contacts. Very easy. Give her a call, 858-452-3937. Experience for yourself, Dr. Sandy T. Feldman's LASIK. Hey, guys, and don't forget, it is tax refund time. If you're one of those lucky ones that is getting a refund, why not use that refund for LASIK with my doctor, Dr. Sandy T. Feldman? 858-452-3937 or go online to clearvieweyes.com. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. This is a mighty 1090 Sports Center update. At 431, I'm Linda Welby with this sports update brought to you by Holiday Bowl Golf Classic. Play in the San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl's annual golf tournament, the Marsh and McClellan Agency Golf Classic on May 20th. Register at www.holidaybowl.com. Padres and the Rockies at Petco tonight. Game two of two. The first pitch is going to go at 6-10. Giants on the road to the Nationals. Diamondbacks and Braves. Angels in Texas against the Rangers. And the Dodgers host the Reds at 7-10. Russell Wilson is now the highest paid player in football. Seahawks quarterback signed a four-year extension. Worth more than $140 million. Wilson is getting a $65 million signing bonus. And in the NBA, game twos. First round of the playoffs, Raptors and Magic in Toronto. Orlando leads that series. At 6 o'clock, the Western Conference, Nuggets and Spurs in Denver. Spurs lead 1-0, then Trailblazers host the Thunder at 7.30. That's your sports update. I'm Linda Welby on the Mighty 1090. Great friends, on a Tuesday afternoon, it's Scott B.R. on the Mighty 1090, on the Mighty 1090 app, streaming on YouTube, streaming on Twitter, at Scott and B.R., and soon coming to Twitch. I like the name of it, too. Yeah. Twitch. Twitch is cool. What do you think about that idea, Alex? You think that's a good idea or no? I'm, I'm, dude, I'm so down to be on every platform. I don't care what it is. I mean, I have a weird, like feeling about asking people to give us a tip like that's not something that i'm into yeah i understand uh that. totally feel weird about even when you brought up a gofundme i was like nah it's not my thing but a lot of people think that's mm, a good idea to, um, to a gofundme but i i don't feel comfortable with that i feel comfortable with being on every single freaking platform that we could be on mm-hmm. yeah. i've always felt that way yeah. now, is twitch just for radio or no no it's for, it's, it's it's for a, gamers it's a lot of gamers mostly gamers yeah. but there's did, a lot of like uh, one is like one person go i'm gonna do a twitch channel well, so yeah, so what happened was this gentleman was just on with us, this guy Don Collins. He somehow went to work with the likes of a Tony Bruno, who's been a longtime sports radio stalwart. Mm-hmm. And um, a stalwart, well, that's a good word, huh? Look at you. Yeah. That means old man. Yeah. So, okay. um, and and so Tony, who you know had been on the radio forever, just just wants to be on. He wants to broadcast. He wants to interact with his audience. He wants to take care of longtime sponsors, and he has found other ways other than radio airwaves to broadcast his content. And so um, I understand what you're saying, Alex, about not wanting to ask for tips, but it's in a weird kind of way. Have you ever heard of, um, of a site called Patreon, which is where like people will host their, their podcasts, and that's what happens is people essentially are tipping or contributing. Mm-hmm. That's how these podcaster types would, would make money on that platform. So I'm down to try Twitch. I really am. I also think we have a great opportunity to capture a lot of younger listeners. If we're on Twitch, I would love to have uh, multiple cameras so I could like you know switch it over. Yeah, and people want to see Linda. I'm gonna buy. Oh, thank a bunch you. Bunch of creeps want to see Linda. Yeah. All right, cool. Just, Linda, stand I mean, up for a, a second. Great There's a lot that you. happens in this box. <laughs> if you, you could know. stand up and wave to the camera over here, a lot of the people, people want to see you. Yeah. Nobody wants to smell the box. Right. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. 
So did anybody see that that last night, and this was mentioned earlier, but the Clippers were down by 30-plus points to the Golden State Warriors? I mean, come on. Steph Curry and KD mm-hmm. and Clay and Boogie and, and Steve Boogie. Kerr, right? I mean, come on. There's no way. Nobody comes back when they're down 30-plus points. But believe Doc it or Rivers not. Rivers does. But the Clippers... Please, you can't do this. I'm doing it. You can't do, do it. it. You you can't be I'm like on the Padre it. bandwagon and and you're you're giving up on your Red Sox because you're all in on the Padres. I'm all but, in on the Padres. But you're not all in on the Clippers. No, no, I've always been on all in on the Clippers. No, not, all not, in, all not all in. Not all in. No, no, no. I want the Celtics to win. <laughs> but but uh, when it comes to Lakers Clippers, uh-huh. I have even before Doc Rivers. Lies. I have been not lies, not fake news, Scott. Mm. It's a Doc Rivers. Boston I have thing. always. Preferred the Clippers over the Lakers. All right, so it's a pretty spectacular comeback. But nobody was really talking so much about the games that took place last night or even the games that are going to be taking place tonight in the NBA playoffs. Instead, everybody seems to be buzzing about Charles Barkley's ongoing taunt of LeBron James. I, for one, love it. You know, it's hard to believe that Tiger Woods won the Masters this past Sunday and the NBA playoffs are going on, and LeBron James is not a participant. Think about that. It was 22 years ago that Tiger Woods won his first Masters. It was 14 years ago, somewhere in that neighborhood, 2005 I think it was, the last time Tiger Woods won a Masters. It had been that long between the first one and the fifth one. Tiger Woods, at 40-plus years of age, won the Masters this weekend, and LeBron James plays for the Lakers and is not in the playoffs. It's fascinating. And there's Charles Barkley, who does not care about LeBron James granting him access. He doesn't have to kiss mm-hmm. LeBron James's ass. Screw LeBron or James. The ring. Right. And Charles Barkley on national TV, I'm telling you, taunting LeBron James asking him to come be a TNT postseason NBA analyst. Take a listen to this. I said this before, America, and this is the last time. LeBron James, come into the studio. You ain't got nothing to do. The <laughs> playoffs started serious. yesterday. You got free time. I know you got to pick a coach and a general manager. <laughs> you got, he's picking it? Oh, I know you got to pick a coach. Just put that on the back burner. I'm speaking on behalf, I'm begging you on the behalf of Ernie, Kenny. Okay, which, which side he's going to sit on? This uh, side or right here in the middle. Right here in the middle. <laughs> right here in the middle. All right, wait, wait, here it is. Wait, let, let me move over now. Let's no. get it in place. I got you right here. LeBron, can we get a, like a like a cardboard cutout? Oh, no, you know, we, we, we need that Game of Thrones chair. And, and I tell you what, I, I t- we're going to get that Game of Thrones chair. And LeBron, how about this? You don't even have to stay. You can leave at halftime. At the second game. No, no, no. He's got to do post game. He got to no, do no, this. No, no, because that show. thing's at 2.30 in the no, morning. No, he's got to do this show. No, yeah. Well, Ernie, this no, is the time when we really get listen, into it. It's just like we have regular meetings. Our Kenny opinion don't matter. <laughs> uh, you can leave at halftime. No. Come on, no, man. No. Well, he's got to do this on show. A, on a like night, the late night. On a night when it's a 7 and 9.30. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And we're on it. LeBron, Chuck is begging you. Like I said, you ain't got nothing to do. Hey, listen. You can pick up a coach and a general manager later down the line. Well, you, we can help you do it. We can help you yeah. do it. We can help you do so it. They, come on, we can help you pick out a coach. Listen, Shaq knows because he was a Georgia coach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny's been interviewing for coaching jobs the last couple of years. So come on in, LeBron. I Where love was Shaq? Him. Where was Shaq? All right, Chuck. All right. LeBron, you come in and hang out with Big Deal. I'm Chuck. Chuck, you turn it. You turn it, Chuck. Where's the where 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 is where's Diesel? Don't where's, know where he is. Where was Shaq? I don't know. Listen, um, I, I love think, him. I think Charles Barkley's right. LeBron, you ain't got nothing to do. Mm-hmm. What what are you doing? You got nothing going on. What what are you producing a record? What are you you, you making a new TV show for HBO? Play some golf if you want. I mean, th- these are the things you should be doing in the off season, but this should not be the off season. And granted that you are the biggest star in the NBA over over Steph, over KD, LeBron James should be visible for the good of the league during the NBA playoffs. And if he's not playing, which he's not, he ought to have his butt on TV. What do you think of that? I'm with Charles Barkley. Wow. LeBron James is the star of the NBA. LeBron James should be visible during the playoffs. And if he's not wearing a uniform... Put on a shirt and tie and go sit next to Chuck and Kenny. 
I love it. I know you got to pick a coach and a GM. <laughs> right. I know you're busy. You don't need to pick a coach and a GM. We all know Tyron Lue is going to be the coach. First, you had to get rid of Luke Walton. Luke Walton immediately went to the Sacramento Kings. I'm telling you right now, the Kings will win a championship before LeBron and the Lakers do. I would say probably on that one. That's a bold prediction right there, pal. Yeah. The Sacramento Kings over the Lakers will win a championship in the NBA mm. before LeBron and the Lakers well, do. Well, LeBron won't win a championship with the Lakers. Didn't we say that before? I don't know, but now I'm kind of rooting for that in a weird sort of anti-LeBron kind of way. That he will never win a championship with the Lakers. The Lakers have become so Charger dysfunctional. How, how long has he signed for? How long do we have? <laughs> He's got four more years. we got a long time. Oh, he'll get it done. No That's way. That's a bummer yes, for sir. Laker fans. No way, That's a yes, bummer. Sir. You know, it's funny that Billy Ray's saying that LeBron will get it done. I would be one of those kinds of guys, too. Like, Tiger's going to win this Masters. Then he doesn't. Tiger's going to win this, this mm -hmm. champion. No, then he doesn't. And then Tiger finally does it. Tiger wins the Masters. LeBron is not in the playoffs. Truly LeBron can't do it on his own. He can't do it by himself. So it's not going to happen. He carried all those losers in Cleveland. Well, something happened that was right. Some chemistry. One. Coming up next, what are the top trends on Twitter? Our man Grande Alejandro representing the 805, the pride of Oxnard, California, in the mother physique and hizzy. Grande Alejandro with What's Trending on Twitter next on Scott and BR. San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. It's Ben and Woods. Tomorrow morning at 6. Keeping all of the animals in line. It's nuts. San Diego's Sports Leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The Mighty 1090. Hello, I'm Joe Cordell of the domestic litigation firm Cordell & Cordell. Here are a few quick divorce tips that we provide our clients. Number one, don't move out of your house just because your wife tells you to. Remember, that's your house too. And number two, don't blow through the financial statements that you file with the court. These are key exhibits and they often make or break your case. And number three, watch the social networking. Expect your wife's lawyer to do a thorough online search. And incidentally, this is a two-way street. Now a bonus tip. Partner with your attorney in assembling evidence. You're one of the two leading experts on your life and marriage. Your attorney needs your input to achieve your goals. And finally, talk to your attorney before taking action. Good luck. Contact Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's San Diego attorneys, a partner men can count on. Online at CordellCordell.com. Se habla español. Legal services available in English and Spanish. 1455 Frazee Road, Suite 500, San Diego, California, 92108. Hey, great friends, Scott Kaplan, and let me tell you that Gary Cooper at Mountain Trust Mortgage has been telling us about this home renovation loan program. Why sell when you can love the one you're with? Mountain Trust Home Renovation Program enables borrowers to either purchase or refinance their home while including the improvement cost in the same loan and it's based on the future value. After improvements, upgrade your outdated home. Room additions, bathrooms, outdoor kitchens and living space, barbecues and swimming pools. This can be for owner-occupied condos, even second homes or investment property. Up to 95% loan to value as the completed value with credit scores as low as 640. Why sell and move when you can love the one you're with? Mountain Trust Mortgage, the solution to all of your mortgage and renovation needs, call 858-376-1299 now. Mountain Trust Mortgage is a DBA of NRL Mortgage Inc. and Equal Housing Lender. NMLS number 181407. Licensed by the Department of Business Oversight of the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. This is not a commitment to lend or extend credit. Offer is subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Real Estate. License number 01367668. Inspired by Padres fans, the Friar Faithful, the next baseball night in San Diego all-fan giveaway is a swing and Friar poncho fleece blanket. Keeping you warm during those chilly San Diego nights at the ballpark or the beach. Thanks to Mission Federal Credit Union, every fan in attendance at the April 20th game against the Reds will receive a blanket. Buy early and save on your tickets at Padres.com or get them in the MLB Ballpark app. Hey Alexa, set a meeting on my to-do list for tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. I'd put a meeting tomorrow at 11 a.m. on your to-do list. Hey Alexa, will it rain today? It will not rain today in San Diego. Hey Alexa, open Mighty 1090. Opening Mighty 1090. We say hello to the manager of Padres. He is Andy Green. That's right. You can use Alexa and Google Assistant to listen to San Diego's sports leader. You better believe it. It's easy. Just enable the skill. Say it. And there we are. San Diego's sports leader. The Mighty 1090. Great 
friend Scott BR on a Tuesday afternoon on the Mighty 1090. For those of you that are watching the live stream on YouTube, you're probably seeing that at the commercial breaks, we bailed here for a little bit. The place is empty. So anybody that might have been sitting there watching, like, what am I looking at? There's nothing going on here. I went to the bathroom. Yeah, During the commercial breaks, I'm actually dealing with a friend of mine who's a uh, broker of um, commercial real estate. Mm. And he's here looking at our space because, you know, we have a lot of space here at 1090. Mm -hmm. And as we're talking about this acquisition of this company, we're not just talking about the transmitter down in Mexico. We're talking about this massive amount of office space Mm -hmm. that we have here in Serrano Valley. Do we need this much? Well, for the gym, we do. Well, right. I mean, that's absolutely (laughs) right. He's of the opinion that we should have the gym put in by the people who own the building and make it an amenity for all the people who work here in this building. Now, that's a smart idea. Uh, I like it. That's a good idea. He's a thinker, that one. This guy's very good. He's good looking. He's young. He's smart. Yeah. Is he married? I don't know. Ask him. Well, he's wearing a big ring. Oh. Yeah. Here's Grande Alejandro Padilla with what's trending on Twitter. Can I start with something that's not trending because it's not really making news, but... But it needs to? It's news-y, news-worthy, I guess. Mm. Of course. It has to do with a former football team that used to play here. Former mm. football team that used to play used here. To play. Oh, oh, oh that, the fleet. The fleet. Yeah. Right. No, not them. Oh. The mm. other one. The C words. The C words. Yeah. We haven't brought them up in a in a long time. They're irrelevant. Right. So, did you hear the news about them today? Is this the news about their unis? Their unis. Mm-hmm. They are officially going back to the Powder Blues mm-hmm. for all home games. Gotcha. So sweet. Good for them. I mean, listen, it's it's a it's a challenging market out there. We certainly understand it as well as anybody that um, that you know the world of of your business could be changing minute to minute, second by second. If you're the Chargers, and you've had two years now in L.A. and you've had this philosophy that winning cures all, and now you're winning, but there still aren't people showing up. So the winning cures all didn't really play out the way they said it would. But the powder blue will. And so, again, in little, tiny, small, desperate moves to try and attract a fan base, people generally around the country think the Charger powder blue is like the best uniform in football. And so now, if you give the people what they want, maybe people will say, I don't even really like the Chargers, but I love the jersey or I love the color combination. I'm going to buy that T-shirt, that hat, that jersey, whatever. I mean, this is something that they could have done while here in San Diego, which is what the fans wanted forever. They didn't want to do that. They didn't want to reward the San Diego fans the same way they didn't want to build a new scoreboard or, or partner up with, with San Diego State to make the fan experience better. Or fix the leaks. Right. They, they <laughs> chose to wait until they got to where they are. Yeah, people were trashing them on Twitter, which we also have a lot of, um, because they use all, basically all their highlights of the Baby Blues were in San Diego. Yeah. You know, they used Junior Seau, they used Dan Fouts, they mm-hmm. used Lance Hallward, mm-hmm. they used Kellen Winslow. I don't know if Billy Ray ever wore those jerseys, but yeah, man, people are... Not excited, excited, really? whatever. Well, I mean, hey, listen, they can go back to 1950-whatever uh, it was when they played their one season in L.A., and they can show all the great highlights of that Charger team in L.A. for that one year and say, look, we're going back to the same uniforms. We're back to our roots. We started in L.A., we're back in L.A., we're what are you back doing? to our original what are, uniform. You're giving them marketing ideas. What are you doing? Well, it's not going to work. <laughs> they can, I can give them <laughs> all the marketing ideas in the world. Don't give free advice like I, that. It's not going to work. I mean, listen, if winning the Super Bowl doesn't work, I mean, there's, the uniforms aren't going to change things. You're not going to go, you're not going to sit there and say, hey, hey, did you hear? I, I don't know if you heard this or not, but Chargers were in the powder blue. Oh, man. Wow, that changes everything How long is it going to take us to get there? Two, right. two, three hours? Right. Let's go. It's Sunday. It is worth, mm-hmm. that fashion choice alone is worth the drive. Mm-hmm. I think so. Actually, I don't. All right, Grande Alejandro, what else is going on? This isn't the dumb hashtag of the day. This is just the, the top hashtag of the day. Mm-hmm. Hashtag don't spoil the end game. I know you guys don't give one crap about this, but the Avengers final movie called Endgame mm-hmm. is dropping next week. And there has been, you know, people are freaking out about leaks, just like Game of Thrones. We don't want anything to be leaked. We don't mm-hmm. want anything to be spoiled. We don't want any of that stuff. Today, a big chunk of the movie was leaked. And the creators of the movie, directors, the Russo brothers, penned a letter today, please begging fans. They didn't really address the leak. They just addressed fans that are going to watch the movie because the spoiler, I mean, the pr- premiere's coming up, saying, please don't tweet stuff out. Please don't put anything on social media. Don't make videos. Don't spoil the Who's in it? Everybody. Like? Like Iron Man, Captain America. The whole crew. The the Hulk, uh, Black Panther, the Guardians. Literally everybody that's ever been in a Marvel movie is in this movie. Unless they died, which Hmm. half of them died last time. 
They okay. could probably come back, though, couldn't they? That's basically the whole, I think, they're all coming back. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey, I just want to tell you guys, I asked a friend of mine earlier today, he called me up, he said, hey, I don't understand something. Um, when I get in my car, I listen to the Mighty 1090 on the radio, how am I going to do it now? And I said, well, do me a favor. Um, first of all, you listen on the radio? He goes, yeah. I go, in your wife's Tesla? You're not listening on the radio. That's actually an app, okay? And he goes, no, I mean in my Maserati. Uh, <laughs> I go, wait a second. I go, wait a second. Your Maserati, your Maserati has an AM radio in it? For everybody that's telling me how going forward there won't be AM radios in modern day cars, my buddy's got a brand new Maserati. There's still an AM radio in mm-hmm, it, okay? Mm-hmm. And so as obnoxious as it may be to drive a Maserati, Stephen, yes, I'm talking to you, um, I'm happy to see that it still has an AM radio. So well, I, I think said, it has to because, I mean, who can afford that? I said to my friend, I said, do me a favor today. I said, do me this favor. Turn on the Mighty 1090 app, Bluetooth it through your car, and see what it sounds like. He's texting me right now. It sounds 10 times better I know. streaming the app on my Bluetooth than it does listening to the AM radio in my freaking Maserati. Yeah, Especially I got that on too. Those, uh, wow. Maserati speakers there. Sure, they're sweet. Dope. Sure, they're money. Super bassy. Dope AM. I think, I he, I think he owes all of us a ride in it now just to hear how things are going. Here's more things you guys don't care about. Okay. Soccer. Today was the second leg of the quarterfinals, and uh, I cared because I, I loved seeing you today know that your Manchester United team was going to get smoked. Well, that is a top trend right now. Lionel Messi, you guys know the name. Mm-hmm. He scored two goals today to eliminate my precious Manchester United with an aggregate score of four to nothing. Hmm, that's a top trend. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, none of us care. It's genuinely <laughs> hurtful what happened today. <laughs> none of us care. I know. But he's, I care. He's suffering, wow. Scott. I know, I know he is. He's suffering. I didn't even watch the second half. Because mm-hmm. I turned into the other top trend, if you go on Twitter right now, Ajax, the Amsterdam club, upset Juventus. And if you don't know who that is, that's a team that Cristiano Ronaldo plays for. I know that name, They too. eliminated Juventus, which is a huge upset, and they ended up winning 3-2 to two on aggregate. Ajax advanced to the semifinals. Got Isn't it. that your team, Scott? Ajax? Yeah. No, 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 no. His team plays tomorrow. Yeah. They're What's playing Manchester City. My, Tottenham. Tottenham. That's oh, Tottenham. the one with the Jewish brothers. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Hebrews in the house. Mm-hmm. They had a big game this weekend. They won 4 nothing. Damn right we did. We? We. Yeah, no, he's part of that the mm-hmm. collection. Tottenham Hebrews. And uh, that's it, man. Literally, it's all soccer right now. It is really? all soccer. All soccer trending on Twitter. Yep. Okay, well, that's where we should end it. Not unless that I'm wanna, anti-soccer. Unless you want to talk about the White House pledging to help France in rebuilding Notre Dame. Really? They're going to rebuild it? Well, You don't rebuild buildings like that. Well... Restore it, well, rebuild it. You you have to rebuild the pieces of it because yeah, but you can't rebuild the history and the character well, of what that building was. Well, I mean, the listen, the towers are see, still there in the main. Yeah, if you saw the, the pictures yeah. after, a lot of the inside mm-hmm. looks pretty good. Yes, I saw that. You know, and yeah. then the then the exterior with the big stained glass circle in yeah. the front, that all looks really good too. I know, but like so, when they when they tore down old Yankee Stadium and they put up new Yankee Stadium, new Yankee Stadium is not old Yankee Stadium. No, Fenway Park. If ever they built a new Fenway Park across the street and they tried everything they could do to make you feel nostalgic and historic, they could never reproduce what was in Fenway Park. Yeah, but they did a remodel to Fenway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying like Yankee Stadium got torn down and a new Yankee Stadium got built up. I don't know enough about this Notre Dame, but. It it just it seems to me that when you're talking about a legendary building that could be how many is it thousands of years old? I think it's like eight hundred. Eight hundred years old. I mean, yes. you don't. You, hey, look, it's the new Notre Dame. Look, it's brand new. They just restored it. Yeah, it's great. Well, they'll probably be like, this is the old part, and over there, that's the add-on. It's just amazing. Basically, place people are like that. people are upset that the White House is willing to help them, mm-hmm. but places like. Puerto Rico haven't gotten the right aid, and Flint, Michigan still have dirty water and all that stuff. I think yeah. it goes back to the Statue of Liberty, like I just said yesterday. They gave us that, and, he, and they're probably like, we... They gave us that? We, we owe you one. <laughs> We've kept that statue <laughs> in good condition. Thank you so much. Still there. Now but isn't see. Selma Hayek's husband donating or taking care of a lot of that? You said that yesterday. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Is it Selma Hayek's husband? Mm-hmm. Who's that? Some French billionaire. Got it. Loaded. Pledged 100 million euros. Hundred million euros is how much money? How much dollars? Ten dollars. I think like one hundred and twenty-five. Uh, no, it's ten dollars. Eighty-five million. I don't know how much it is. I have really? no idea. Not pesos. <laughs> I don't know what talking it is. about oh, euros, boy. lady. <laughs> francs? They don't do francs anymore. I don't think so. Hundred million mm-hmm. euros is one hundred and twelve million dollars. There you go. All right. Stick around because coming up, our friend Hank Bauer, the longtime Charger player, coach, and broadcaster, is going to talk to us about tonight on ESPN the premiere of the Junior Seau 30 for 30. Now, I've seen the film 
because it was available on the ESPN streaming services. Now ESPN wants to get back onto the airwaves, so they're bringing this piece of content from their streaming service and putting it on television. For those of you that have never seen this Junior Seau 30 for 30, this is a San Diego Charger or a Junior Seau fans must see. And it'll air tonight, and Hank Bauer will talk to us because he was in it. Next on Scott and BR. San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. Take San Primus. Diego Sports Leader with you wherever you go. That might just be the best thing ever. <laughs> it's the Mighty 1090 app. Yeah, someone told me about it. it. Sounded cool. Get it today. Primus, let me talk about Bonnie Mantel and the Primus Family Law Firm. So, look, um, getting divorced is not necessarily a pleasant thing. I mean, I have plenty of friends who've gotten divorced and it has been very reasonable and adult and professional and civil, okay? And then I got a lot of friends who have been involved in some really, really hardcore, gnarly divorces. And, and divorces that, even after they're signed, sealed, and delivered, for years they're still battling in court thereafter. Let me suggest to you that an investment in your family attorney is a way that will eventually save you money. If you are hiring a Bonnie Mantel from Primus Family Law, you're investing in Bonnie's 20 years in the profession. You're investing in her relationships with the judges and the other attorneys. You're investing in her expertise in the field of family law. And Bonnie Mantel, I can assure you, the investment into her services will save you and your family a lot of money. I'll say this too. If you know that you're getting divorced, if you know it's over, if you know that this thing is just going on every single day, but it's long over, why are you wasting time? Take it from somebody who it took three years from the absolute minute I knew it was over till the time I finally pulled the trigger. It was three and a half years. And then it took two more years just to get to a marital settlement agreement. And I'm still waiting for the judge to sign it. Don't wait when you know. Call Bonnie Mantel, 619-574-8000, 619-574-8000, or go to the website primusfamilylaw.com. Call Bonnie for a free 30-minute phone consultation, 619-574-8000. If you know your marriage is over, don't waste time. Call Bonnie Mantel at the Primus Family Law Firm. Jeep vehicles are world famous for giving you all kinds of freedom. The freedom to travel in luxurious comfort with Jeep Grand Cherokee. Well-qualified returning Jeep Grand Cherokee lessees get a low mileage lease on the 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee Loretto E4x2 for $229 a month for 36 months with $4,199 to its signing tax title license extra. Call 1-888-925-JEEP for details. Requires dealer contribution, lease to Chrysler Capital. Current lease must end by 5 4 25 cent charge for each mile over 30,000 miles. Residency restrictions apply. Take delivery by 430 Jeep as a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. Hey, great friends, it's Scott Kaplan. You know, it's getting warm out now, and that means more outdoor time, and that means the big green egg. And you're going to find everything you need for your barbecue, your grill, your smoker, at Hot Sauces and more, including all the accessories for your big green egg. They got rubs, seasonings, marinades, charcoal, wood chunks, chips, and pellets. Hot Sauces and more has everything you need. Be sure to sample their sauces, but be careful, because you're going to wind up taking home half the store. Get fired up at Hot Sauces and more in the Otay Ranch Town Center Mall and online at Hot Sauces, the letter and more.com. San Diego's sports leader, the home of ESPN Radio, the Mighty 1090. This is a Mighty 1090 Sports Center update. At 4.58, I'm Linda Welby with this sports update. We begin with the Padres leading in the National League. They take on the Rockies again at Petco, hoping for a better outcome this time. It's game two of a two-game series, first pitch at 6.10. Giants on the road to the Nationals at the bottom of the third. Nats up by one. Diamondbacks and Braves at scoreless at the top of the third. Angels in Texas against the Rangers. That game is going to get started in a couple of minutes. And then the Dodgers host the Reds at 7.10. Over in the NFL, Russell Wilson, highest paid player in football. Seahawks quarterback signed a four-year extension. It's worth more than $140 million. Wilson's getting a $65 million signing bonus. And in the NBA, uh, first round of the playoffs, game twos for the Raptors and Magic in Toronto. At six, the Western Conference, Nuggets and Spurs in Denver. Then Trailblazers host the Thunder at 7.30. Portland leads the series there one nothing. That's your sports update. I'm Linda Welby. Scott and BR continue on the Mighty 1090. Welcome back to the Scott and BR Show on San Diego's sports leader, the Mighty 1090. 
All right, Scott and on the Mighty 1090, broadcasting on the Mighty 1090 app, broadcasting on YouTube's live stream on Scott and BR, at Scott and BR on Twitter. They might take us off the radio and think they can shut us up, but um, can't have that. Just, just to have too much of a defiant attitude in life to let somebody make those kinds of decisions for us. And so here we are. We find ourselves broadcasting on a variety of different platforms. Mm -hmm. I'm getting texts from friends who are listening in their cars crystal clear because they drove the kinds of cars that they already were using the app and Bluetooth anyway. And I'll tell you guys um, real quickly, because then I want to move on. Hank Bauer's getting ready to join us. I want to tell you something else. We are following and monitoring very closely the statistics of listenership on the Mighty 1090 app. And I'm telling you that... Either this many people were always listening to the 1090 app or there was a base of people that listened and a whole bunch of other people who used to listen on radio who want it are coming to the app. The numbers are actually shocking. And what's even more shocking is when you look at the ratings. The ratings just came out. We never talk about radio ratings on the radio. Mm -hmm. But since we're not on the radio, F it. Let's talk about it. (laughs) Let me tell you something. Total an utter domination by the Mighty 1090. Our morning show, crushing. Even Stephen A. Smith in the middays getting better numbers than Rome or Lebetard ever got wow. and killing Colin Cowherd on another radio station. And Darren Smith, number one across the board. And the crossover, so 3 to 3.30 mm-hmm. every day live, number one across the board. And the Scott and BR show just, just, just barely finishing in the number two slot behind a rock and roll FM radio station that's a longtime heritage radio station in San Diego. Mm-hmm. Total domination in the ratings. The other sports radio stations in town, we acknowledge that they exist, but they really don't, not statistically anyway. And as an article that was written yesterday said, while a lot of people at other radio stations around town might be thumping their chest saying we knocked those guys out, we knocked out the champs, guess what? They're also crapping in their pants that if this place goes down, they're calling it a talent raid. They're saying there will be a talent raid. Why wouldn't these stations go after Darren Smith, who's number one? Why wouldn't they go after Scott and BR? Mm-hmm. That is the number two rated English speaking show in all of radio in San Diego. Why wouldn't we do that? With all their sponsors and with, with all their connections and with all their years of market equity and the primes of their career, mm-hmm. why would we not be going after those guys? So there's a lot of nervous people running around this radio industry in this town right about now. What are you laughing at, Grande? Uh, Nothing. (laughs) (laughs) No, I just, just, I'm just getting interesting texts from people right now. Well, what are they? I've just been told. Listen, and I'm sure you're getting the same text. I've just been told that our former morning guy here at 1090 Mm -hmm. who left our station well over a year ago you talk about addition by subtraction getting rid of our former morning guy and adding ben and woods was the greatest thing that could have ever happened to this radio station little did we know now i'm hearing that that morning guy is bailing on that radio station really being moved within the company Mm. to another state i suppose so supposedly where you might be from oh really yeah i don't know how you think that in your mid-50s at this stage of your career you survive by going from san diego california to boston massachusetts um when you're not from boston no and you're this late in your career boston's very slow to let newbies in i would be i i will (laughs) but here's the thing let the rumors begin let the rumors begin because here's what's happening you know what people are going to do they're going to start putting two and two together they're going to say okay 1090 went off the air Okay, Um, Darren's number one in the middays, Scott's number two, I mean, by like a tenth of a point in the afternoons. They've got all these years of market equity. Watch now as a radio station or a radio company with deep pockets decides to go raid the talent and knock out the competition, giving them no chance to get back on the air. And um, this could be the first move in that company preparing itself to upgrade its talent. And we'll listen. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, will we listen? We're already listening. I mean, let's not lie to each other. Uh-huh. We are already listening. Hank Bauer is standing by. Hank Bauer, the longtime Charger player, longtime coach, 
Longtime radio analyst, now national radio analyst of NFL games. Sweetheart of a guy. And Don't forget that part. Longtime great friend and supporter of the Scott and BR show. Mm-hmm. Hank Bauer is so cool that he's streaming on an app. He's streaming on YouTube. He's streaming on Twitter because he's contemporary and millennial like that. <laughs> Hi, Hank Bauer. Scott. Linda, be, I have no idea what you what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you yeah. He doesn't I because tell you, he's still on vacation. I know, <laughs> I know. Honestly, from day one when I got into this business, all I know is they hand you a microphone, you talk. Everything else Push about it, button. I don't want to know. Yep. Right. Uh huh. And and sometimes I think the less we know, the better off we are in this business. Do you agree? Sometimes, yes. I think you got something there, Hank. Could be right. Sometimes, Mm -hmm. just do your thing and then let it. And you know what happens? Let me tell you what happens. It's going to happen to you guys because you guys are fan-frickin-tastic. Okay? And I am proud to have you as my friends. I am honored to be able to have been on your show uh, many times and actually fill in for you guys. You guys are fantastic. You are the best show in San Diego, bar none, by far, and the cream will rise to the top again. It will all work out. Well, thanks, Hammer. You know, so I, sweet. I, you know, Hank. I feel the same way. My my son, who's eighteen, he and I last week on Tuesday night, the day or was it? When, no, it was Tuesday night last week. The day that ten ninety got taken off the air that night. I'm sorry, it was Wednesday night. That night, I had an appearance at a um, Gulls game. Everybody here at the station, part of our contract with the Gulls was everybody needs to make an appearance at the game and do like an intermission thing and so on. I, of course, <laughs> waited till the very last minute because I didn't want to go. And, so, and it wasn't because I didn't want to go to the game. It was because I didn't like the fact that management had signed me up for something that I have to go do and take my time and I don't get paid for and screw them, you know? And not only that, Scott, you're going to have to answer a million questions that you don't want to answer and you right. can't answer. So, so my son said to me, wait a second, you're still going to the Gulls game? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, why? And I said, because I don't hide, okay? When, when Channel 10 is, is, is hanging out in our lobby and they want to comment, I'm happy to comment. When the Gulls had me booked for an appearance, I'm going to show up. I refuse to hide. And the reason, my son said to me, he goes, well, Dad, you don't seem so upset about this whole 1090 being knocked off the air. And Hank, don't ask me why, but there is a calmness that I've never had in my life. I wish I would have had it 25 years ago when I was kicking footballs. I may have been able to recover quickly <laughs> after a miss. There's a calmness in my life because I do know this, Hank. We are dominating in the ratings. We are in the primes of our career. I would argue we're doing the best work of our career on air. And there's tremendous value for another radio company, should it ever come to that, to steal the ratings, to steal the clientele, to bring in the money, et cetera, et cetera. And that, Hank, there's just tremendous value in that. Scott, there's a reason for that. You guys are good, okay? And eventually, you know, p- people know that. It's going to work out. And, and, and not only are you good, look at the competition in this market. Look where radio and TV has gotten to. Um, and, and, you know, and I'm not going to point fingers and name names, but man, uh, you know, it's just not, it's just not the same. It's just not the same Wait, for a number of reasons. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of it's uh, financial, it's uh, economical, you know, stations, uh, the world's changing because of the internet and because of streaming and things like that. And so, you know, people are going cheaper when, when you go cheaper, that's less talent, that's unproven talent. And that doesn't always play. In a market like this, although we got to keep in mind, this is what the number twenty-nine media market. Even though we're the ninth largest city, uh, this is not a large market. And uh, so, so it's, it, it's just like let me just say this: I look back on my lifetime now. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I'm getting I'm going on Medicare in July. I'm turning sixty-five. Old Can you believe ass that mother effer? Wow, uh, no, is that unbelievable? It is, and, and so it, it's a, it's it, it's a beatdown. It's it's an emotional, mental beatdown for somebody. I feel like I'm in my. I honestly, I, I knock on wood. I feel like I'm in my twenties. I, I I feel strong. I work out. I feel great. 
His T levels are up. But, How's your stamina? Yeah, your T levels good. Oh, How's your endurance? It is, it is so good. Really? It is so good. Really? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he just got back from Hawaii. That's what he I, said. I don't run as many races as I used to, but I can finish every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I, I mean, okay. I, usually I can run them forever. Sometimes I have a hard time finishing them. <laughs> no, I'm good like that. I'll finish every race. But okay. I just don't run. I'm smart enough no, not to run every day. For, for me, it takes so. a lot of concentration to finish the race. <laughs> No, no, you're well. You're you're racing against wrong people. Then no right? way, man. I'm racing with the right people. I'm just having to concentrate. You know, <laughs> Hank Bauer. But but, but 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 let me say this. Yeah, Scott. let me just say this. Go ahead. I, I, and so when you when you're getting beaten down by advertisements for Medicare, I mean incessantly. Every every day is a reminder. A hundred emails, a hundred texts. All the insurance companies. It's just. All right, hey, you're get, you're old. You're getting old. You're old. It's Medicare. It's this. It's you know what it does? It forces you to look back on your life. And I look back, and I thought about you guys uh, a lot this last week because every time I have been challenged, and I felt like I was in the worst place of my life, the best things in the world came out of it. I got cut from the Dallas Cowboys on my birthday after gaining 128 yards against the Chargers. On my world, it ended. I'm, I wake up the next day, I'm sleeping in a garage, my brother's garage in Oxnard, going, what the F just happened to me, right? And I sit up, and then, but it was the greatest thing in the world, look where I ended up, and look at the team I played for, and the guys I got to play for, uh, play with and for, and coach, and, and broadcast, and, 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 and then, you know, that whole, that whole ridiculous thing, uh, w- w- when the Charger gig ended, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was being uh, painted, painted, uh, an anti-Semite, mm-hmm. which is the most ludicrous thing in the world. Mm-hmm. I'm not anti-anything. I'll tell you what I'm anti. <laughs> I'm anti-hate. I'm anti. Uh, I'm, I'm anti anything bad. I'm, I'm the most fair, loving, uh, give everybody a chance person in the world uh, because the way I was brought up, respectful, and and to have been painted like that, I was done with broadcasting. I didn't need the money. I don't need the headaches. And in three days, I got hired to do national radio. And I've never had more fun in my life working with Larry Kahn and Sports USA and those guys. It was, it is unbelievable. So well, that's the, just the story, it, and I've told the story. So my, my whole point, yeah, Scott. Yeah, go ahead. Let me, because I want to tell it, you a story. Well, my whole point is for you guys, right now, it is, I mean, it's a, it's a beatdown. No matter how you front it, like, you're, hey, everything's great, we're doing okay, it hurts. And, 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 and you're pissed, and you're probably wondering, and you're not sure. You know what? Every time I've been challenged like that, it has been the greatest thing in the world yeah, for me. I, I agree. And we're talking to Hank I Bauer. I mean, opportun- and, the next opportunity, because you know why, Scott? Yeah. You guys are good. That's why. And you're good people. That's right. And good things are going to happen. You know, you. You're, you're right. And listen, I remember, Hank, when you got fired, and I said to you, Hank, it's, it's all going to work out. It always does. And no matter how hard you try to make it work out, you can't make it work out the way you want. In fact, ultimately, it's probably going to work out better than you could even imagine. And I always, right. give, I always give this anecdote, and it's one of my favorite things. I've tweeted it a million times, and I've, I've talked about it on the radio. I've done speaking engagements. I've brought it up. It's one of my favorite things. If you go on YouTube, and you, you YouTube the Chinese farmer, people have heard me talk about this before. It's one of my favorite things. Have you ever heard about this, Hank? No, I haven't. I'm. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, the Chinese farmer. So um, this uh, this is Chinese farmer, and um, and he's got this horse, and the horse runs away. And later at night, the neighbors all came over, and they said, "Well, that's just a shame." And he said, "Well, maybe." And the next day, the horse came back, and the horse had seven wild horses with him. And the neighbors came back over that night, and they said, "Hey, that's great. They they more horses." And he said, "Yeah, maybe." And the next day, his son was out training one of the wild horses and fell off the horse and broke his leg. And the neighbors came around that night, and they said, oh, my goodness, that's terrible. Your son broke his leg. And he said, yeah, well, maybe. And the next day, the officers from the Army showed up at their house. They were recruiting for uh, they needed young men for the war. But they turned down the son because he had a broken leg. And all the neighbors came around that night, and they said, isn't that wonderful? And he said, maybe. And he, maybe. And, he, and he goes on to say, he says, look, you never know the consequences of bad news and you never know the consequences of good news bad fortune or good fortune Mm -hmm. what you think could be the worst thing that ever happened in your life my team the chargers i coached there i played there i've been broadcasting there i'm their voice when it's nfl films it's me yelling and screaming they fired me over some bs nonsense and lied to me is the worst thing that's ever happened in my life and then all of a sudden 
you know, that, that bad, right, maybe that bad fortune <laughs> turned into good fortune because you didn't know the consequence of the bad fortune. And, Hank, the same is true for us. You know, we've been on this radio station for so long, maybe it's time to move to a new radio station. Maybe it's time to move to a new format of broadcasting. Maybe it's time to move on to something new and different in our lives. I don't know the consequence of the bad news of, of the station getting taken off the air. But I'm very much with you, Hank. I'm pretty confident cosmically speaking that nothing but good will ultimately come from this and i think a year from now i'll be looking back going how lucky were we that mike lickenhouse didn't pay the bacharas the rent that he owed him for for the signal i mean how lucky are we i mean that right right right. it's going to throw you into a whole new realm it's going to challenge you in ways maybe you've not been challenged you know you you know you might end up owning a radio station or being part of an ownership and it, who knows where it's going to be? Nobody knows this better than Linda Welby and all that she's gone through in the last year, right? That, that, that maybe Linda, Linda, maybe you could speak to this because mm-hmm. I've thought about this with you. Yeah. Is, had you not had the cancer issue and all of the things that you had to go through, do you appreciate life? Your, I know you always appreciate your family, but mm-hmm. I bet you even appreciate your family life everything everything, everything. and and you know it's, it's, it's life changing it really really is you know what it really i mean i've always i you know my close friends and family i already know that but i didn't know about the great friends i mean the community i was just <laughs> don't cry you make me cry don't Too cry Linda. oh my goodness Too gracious late. good god uh, well you know what here <laughs> and look what you, you know, do look what you make <laughs> you make women <laughs> cry <laughs> you make women cry hank bauer because I finished the race, Scott. Oh, yeah, I guess so. No, you but make see, laughing at the same well, time. Well, laughter awesome. through tears is my favorite emotion. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you know what it reminds me of? You know what it reminds me of, you guys? When Mike Riley was coaching Ryan Leaf his first year, and, and I had to go in the locker room after the games, how brutal was that, mm. and do the coach's report, right? And poor Mike Riley just beaten down, the nicest guy in the world, and Ryan Leaf just threw five picks and fumbled a couple times at Kansas City. Total beatdown. And I get there, and I go, at first, and I'm, I'm getting ready to, now what do you ask, Mike Riley? Your team sucks. Ryan Leaf sucks. That, that was a A kicking, right? What do we have? I said, so I see Mike with this grin. He's grinning. And I go, Mike, how in the, I got I to ask you, how in the world can you be smiling right now? And he looked at me, and he says, Hank, I only laugh to keep from crying. <laughs> and I've never forgotten that. And whenever times get really tough, right, Linda? Yep. I only laugh to keep from crying. Yeah. And that's all you can do. That's and you right. know I, I did a lot of laughing, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> throughout the process. Here's the other thing. Times like this, you know, people don't come up to you and tell you how great you are when things are going good. Right, Scott? You guys got good ratings. You're kicking everybody's butt. Nobody comes up to you and tell you how great you are. Right? Now, you're going to find out how good you really are. And, 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 and you are hearing it. You are feeling it. And uh, good things are going to come your way, believe me. Cause you feel the you coach coming you out can, of Hank right you know now? I know. Coach, I always so said that. Good. I said, like, Hank, you, you need to be a motivational speaker. No, you can't hide greatness. You can't hide greatness. You know, Hank, you just, just real quick, it's, and I want to talk about this Junior Seau film that we're gonna, you know, people are going to get a chance to see tonight. Real quick, it's interesting you say this because when you're in it, you know, like, like for example, we were talking to Charlie Hoffman yesterday, and he was uh-huh. in the Masters. You know, he, yeah, right? he, he's a player in it. We're watching it, and for us, it's this crazy, great, amazing story of a comeback of Tiger Woods. But Charlie's a player, and he's there, and he's in it, and he's been competing with Tiger his whole life. So it's a whole different sort of emotion. When you've been in the game like we have for 18 years on the radio in this town, you tend to think at times, well, this is it. I mean, I'll, I'll be, this will be kind of my last deal, and there's nowhere else for me to go. When we got knocked off the air, my phone started to ring from radio executives around town. And I took one lunch. I won't say with who. I took one lunch. And this person said to me, you are in the prime of your career. Absolutely. And you have assets today that you didn't have when you signed your contract four years ago. And I thought about that, and he said, think about it. Did you have a podcast four years ago? I did not. Did you have as strong a social media following across multiple platforms? I did not. Did you have a high school sports television property that you've turned into a radio property? I did not. Et cetera, et cetera. These, 
when we signed this contract, Billy Ray and I, four years ago, the assets that we now have that we can take with us to other places are assets we did not have. We've cultivated those. And those assets now can be valuable money-making tools for our company or for another company. And so it is a very reassuring feeling to have people in your industry say, wow, their failure is our opportunity, and don't we want to get our hands on these types of people? So it is a, uh, it is a very good feeling to hear those sorts of things, Hank. So Promise thank you. me this, Scott. Promise me this. Package deal. Alejandro, Linda, you guys all got to go together. Yeah, we are a package deal. And that's deal. not to denigrate your talents no, or no, less no. than we're, anything we're that you could do. No, we're a team. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys are, it's, 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 uh, come on, it goes without saying. Uh, what a great show it's, it, it's been and will continue to be. Well, we, so. we are a team. We are a family. And, uh, and our, I, I've said this all week, Hank, and I'll, I'll get on to the junior sale film. There's, there's kind of two roads right now. And, and Dick Emberg used to say all the time, take a left turn. You know, sometimes instead of just always making that right turn to go to work, exactly. make a left turn. And, you know, I, there's, there's two roads right now. We're at a crossroads. One mm-hmm. is where my head is. And my head is, this would be a lot easier if we just went down this road, you know? Um, but I feel like the head road is a little bit more of the selfish road, very frankly. And then on the other hand, I have the heart road. The heart road is where it's me and it's Billy Ray and it's Alex and Linda and it's Ali Rat and it's our whole family and it's Darren and Marty and it's Ben and Woods and it's all the kids who are producers here and it's the sales guys that have worked hard for years. So my, my head is on one side. It would be easier and probably I'd be thinking about myself a lot more if I went down the road of the head. But in my case, I'm just built this way. I'm probably, yeah. in all likelihood, going to go with my heart because my heart says there's good, talented people here at 1090. I don't want this station and this brand that Billy Ray and I and Darren and everybody else here has built for the last 15 years to go down the drain because of mismanagement. And so my my head says go take the easy gig. My heart says do the, the, the right thing for the right number of people, which is the much harder, much more difficult, heavy lift. So I'm well, sort of at that decision- heart versus head. Scott, this is what I tell young people when I get to speak to young groups and athletes and whoever might want to listen to me in whatever forum. Don't don't worry about power. Don't worry about prestige. Don't worry about fame. Don't worry about money. You know what you got to pursue? It has to be a lifetime pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. Find out what makes you happy. Do you want to get paid a gazillion dollars and go in and be freaking miserable? No, it's not worth it. If, 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 if somebody told you your life is ending tomorrow and you look back, Linda, you just went through this. I know. You know, and, and you look back, right? And you think, gosh, I wish I would have done that or I wish I wouldn't have done that. So, so learn from that and make decisions accordingly based on, you know, I, I get it. We all need money to, to survive, but yeah, but if you're not you know, happy, it, if you're not happy, yeah, it's if not If you're not it. happy, money money doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I've seen some of the most richest, some of the most powerful people in the world that are so miserable. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't trade places with them in a million years. And so it's the pursuit of happiness. Surround yourself with people that you like. You know, pursuing a job and pursuing excellence in a job that you like. And don't worry about anything else. And don't do it for any other reason. I have never done anything for any other reason. I got into the NFL because I just love to kick people's asses. Okay? <laughs> and, 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 and I wanted to see how far I could take this undersized, underspeed, too small, too slow, small college guy, supposedly. Cal- and I wanted to see how far I could too take white. it. Yeah. Right? Too white? Yeah, go ahead and say it. I, and I wanted to see how far I could take it. And going back to, you know, critically bad things that happen in your life, I break my neck. I make it to the top of the uh, top of the game, Scott. I, I have 52 special teams tackles in one season. It's never going to be broken. Nobody's ever seen anything like it or close to it. And, 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 and for me, that was the pinnacle. I could have played, if I stayed healthy another 10 years, I could have milked it. Right? Just by covering kickoffs. Just doing what I do. I break my neck. I have to retire. I went from the very bottom, the very bottom, you know, the very bottom to the very top with a great team and, and, and standing up 
at the Super Bowl, the night before the Super Bowl, at the awards dinner, getting the player of the year for special teams, standing next to Kellen Winslow and Lawrence Taylor and Anthony Munoz and all these guys. And I'm getting honored with all these owners out to where all of a sudden I break my neck and I'm out. My career's over. I'm done. But you know what it did? I got the opportunity to coach. And had I not coached, I would have never learned the game of football like I know it now. Maybe. Because I thought I knew it, right. but I didn't know it. See? I Maybe. didn't know it. You didn't know? Maybe. So, no, hey, 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 you broke your back. Got your football career my ma- I got my doctorate. I got my doctorate in football under Ernie Zampezi, Don Coryell, Al Saunders, you know, and, and Billy Ray was there. He thought. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what else it did, Scott, for me? Things like this, we all like to think we're mature and grown up, but – yeah, the, the the job you're doing, not so much. <laughs> Some of the time, most of the time, all the time. You know, as a, <laughs> as an athlete, same thing. You know, you're playing the kids' game. You got to grow up. Yeah, you get into a you get into a whole different realm of responsibility, and 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 it and it forces you to grow. Well, so I guess makes, makes me say to my kids and grow. Yeah, it makes my kids go, Dad. What are you going to do now? I'm like, just just watch. Don't worry about just it. Just watch. Your dad, dad it. You know what? You tell them. Your dad is talented and. And, and, I do tell and, them that. They don't listen to me. Yeah, mine don't usually either. <laughs> do not no, either. the kids don't. Yeah. Hank Bauer, we got to go. We're, we're blowing up our clock on our stream, and we don't like to do that. We have to stay okay, very, because our streaming. I, I just haven't talked to you guys in so long. And I I just, let, let me ask you this before you go. Are, are you, yeah. you, you've seen the Junior Seau film. You were in the oh, Junior Seau film. I've seen it when it was only available on streaming, but tonight ESPN's going to actually put it on television. You think you'll be watching it again tonight? Because you talk about yeah. people and happiness and the pursuit of happiness. We all looked at Junior Seau, big smile, good looking, made all this money, took care of all these people. We all looked at Junior Seau and assumed he must be a happy guy. Little did we know after his death, we found out so much of how unhappy he was. Even his ex-wife and children did not understand the level of unhappiness as a result of the concussions and the brain contusions and all this other kind of stuff. This is, um, it's really a sad story, but it's a, a really well done documentary. I must say. Scott, I couldn't have said it better. I, I, I can just say this. It's a must watch. You are going to laugh. You are going to cry. You're going to learn things about CTE, about Junior's personal life, how he grew up, and you're going to learn a lot about the things that we just talked about, right? How things aren't always as they appear to be. You know, we, we, we put our stars on a pedestal, and, and, and we assume that their lives are perfect. Well, guess what? <laughs> you know, the, 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 everything is the same. We're just human beings. We're all, just, we're all the same. We all have the same problems. And, and Junior's... Uh, we're just amplified. It's a must watch um, for people that, that miss it, it, it. To me, it was great to relive. I, I focused on the great things, the, you know, the amazing players, the Super Bowl run juniors career, uh, the good times. And, 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 and I got to tell you, the thing I loved about it was the, the, the producer took us through all of them. He could have taken this story a million ways. Right. Um, and you're going to be shocked at some of the things you see, some of the things you hear. Uh, but gosh darn it, I was—I just couldn't stop smiling, seeing Junior beating people down and playing and being Junior. And then I then I just then I'd flip and I'd cry, and I go, I think that's almost like any any any, any amazing story, any amazing movie uh, that you can be taken through the entire realm of emotions. I miss Junior. I miss. I, I'm thankful Junior was in my life. I'm so thankful he was a San Diegan and they did so many amazing things for this community and his foundation uh, with Jimmy Barone and, 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 and Kenny Ramirez and, and, and Dale Yonke and all those guys. They're still doing amazing things in this community because Junior was here. Yep. And last thing I want to say yeah. is this, Scott. Yeah, last thing ahead. I want to say is this. Okay. At the end of your life, I think the, the, the final answer is, was the world a better place because you were here or not? And, and I know that even with all the demons and all the bad things that, 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 that we're going to learn about Junior as well, the world is so much better place because he was here. And I got to tell you, uh, the world in San Diego and in broadcasting, you, you guys, the world is so much better of a place because you guys have been here for so long. And I, and I hope and pray that you guys will continue on on the airwaves or somewhere somehow. 
Hank Bauer, bringing it strong. So lovely, yeah, Hank. By the way, has been doing it a lot longer than we have. So, Hank, right back at you. Appreciate it, guys. Uh -huh. Hammer, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank yes. you, buddy. All right. See you guys. All right, Hank. Hammer and Hank Bauer. There he you needs, go. He needs to like do the circuit of, you know. The motivational speaking Motivational circuit. speaking. He'd be good. He needs a book. Mm -hmm. That's what he needs. All right. Stick around. Coming up. My man, Matt Savant, the president of the San Diego Gulls, is about to walk into this studio. You're going to see his good-looking face plastered all over our Twitter feed and our YouTube feed. The Gulls are in the playoffs. They start tomorrow night at the Pachanga Arena, and Matt Savant is going to prep us for the Gulls and the postseason next on Scott and BR. San Diego sports leader, the Mighty 1090. The Mighty 1090 Hotline is presented by Corky's. We're your pest control company, San Diego. Mountain Trust Mortgage and Realty Services, 858-376-1299, 858-376-1299, Gary Cooper. Koopa hey, Loop! That's right, uh -huh. a.k.a. Koopa Loop. You know him, you love him. You know why? Because he saves you money. How many stories have we heard about teachers or veterans or active duty military or people who have said, hey, look, you know, um, I needed to get this deal done. Wait, wait, Linda, before you start doing that stuff, this could screw up the whole, this could screw up the whole stream. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's this over here, not this over here. Okay. So anyway, uh, back to the spot. So so Mountain Trust Mortgage and Realty Services, 858-376-1299. All these folks who have had successful interactions with Gary, who've learned about the, the industry, who understand the products they're getting themselves involved with, and more importantly, are saving a ton of money. So never make a move in the real estate industry without first talking to Gary Cooper, Mountain Trust Mortgage and Realty Services, buying, selling, lending, investing properties. I'm telling you, never make a move without one of the original great friends, Gary Cooper, Mountain Trust Mortgage and Realty Services. 858-376-1299. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The Mighty 1090. Get up and go to San Diego Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram number one in San Diego. With four distinct brands in one central location, you will always find what you're looking for and at a price that will save you big. Stop by during the spring sales event and get the 2019 Ram 1500 Crew Cab at your number one dealership. It's time. Get up and go to Sun Road, San Diego Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Mission Valley between the 163 and 805 or online at San Diego Chrysler Dodge Jeep. JeepRam.com, number one based on 2018 sales report. All right, homeowners, if you're looking to sell a home, but you don't want to go through the hassles of the traditional real estate process, Sold Key might be exactly what you're looking for. Sold Key by Renovation Realty, online at soldkey.com, 1-800-348-SELL. Why Sold Key? Well, it's faster. You can close in as slow as 10 days. It's easier, no prep work, no open houses. It'll cost less, no agent, broker, commission, and it offers you more control. Move on your schedule with Sold Key. Soldkey.com, 1-800-348-SELL. Catch up with the Mighty 1090 wherever you are. Wait, what? Find podcasts from your favorite shows and hosts on the Mighty1090.com and the Mighty 1090 app. Wow, that sounds really nice. You can also get us on Stitcher, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, and Google Podcasts. Subscribe to us, and each new episode will show up right on your phone or device. This was the decade in which technology made our personal lives just that much easier. Easier, at least those of us who could figure out which button to push. <laughs> this is San Diego's sports leader. Pretty sweet, huh? The mighty 1090. We're back. Great friends on a Tuesday afternoon. It's Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. And um, 
Hank Bauer was here and kind of blew up the clock, but that's okay. <laughs> As only Hank can do. Yeah. Matt Savant is the president of the San Diego Gulls. He is in studio. The Gulls are in the postseason, and they are starting tomorrow night at home at the Pachanga Arena. So back-to-back nights, Wednesday and Thursday, in the first round of the playoffs. And the Gulls on their way to perhaps a Calder Cup championship. Here's the president of the Gulls, Matt Savant, in studio. You're watching him on our YouTube stream. He's waving. You're looking at him on our Twitter stream. You're loving him. Matt Savant, how are you? I'm great, and uh, it's great to be here. I always love coming in the studio, mainly to see Linda. So sweet. You guys are okay, too. So <laughs> nice. We were just talking about all the great gull, what our favorite like gull swag item, and mine is for sure the, the cowboy hat. Love it. Yeah. I was so saying awesome. that, that was a big night. We uh, mm-hmm. we did the cowboy cowboy night for the first time this year, and I believe that game sold out. But we're definitely doing something similar next year because mm-hmm. there's something going on country in San Diego for sure. Oh, paddock! I mean, you know, the the Padres are going to start doing it too, right? right? The, no, but they, but it, you're you're right. There there are a lot of country music listeners here. That's why there are a ton of country music mm-hmm. concerts and stuff. Yeah. It's why Del Mar decided to bring you know country music to their summer series, and you know, there's a ton of shows down at the Sleep Train Cricket Wireless. <laughs> Core's light. AT- AT&T, AT&T, whatever. Yeah. Matt, check this out. So we're live on Twitter right now, and we're live on YouTube right now, and Alex was able to come in and identify you with a lower third graphic for everybody. So when you're watching Work. on Twitter, you know, when you come in, you're like, who's that? That's Matt Savant. He's the president of the goals. You're carrying with you tonight some orange rally towels. Tell us what's going on manana at pachanga arena yep. so i always try to make it uh, a goal to every time i come and see you guys to bring you goal swag uh today i brought you the giveaway which all fans in attendance will receive tomorrow and it's a goals rally towel i'll hold it up for the camera here for, nice uh, for everybody beautiful and what this does as you guys know it adds a little element of atmosphere and this is something that has become synonymous with goals playoff hockey we do these rally towels and it it just creates kind of a, a fun environment everyone seems to get all jacked up for it the players really respond to it so we're giving these out to everybody that comes in tomorrow and it's kind of fun thursday we're giving away uh rally drums if you guys have ever seen a karate never heard of that karate kid you remember the uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 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 and i'm doing the karate kid move here for those on, uh, <laughs> on the stream you're keeping uh, your hands warm yes, kind of and it will add another element of uh of audio and uh the the fans get behind those kind of giveaways. This is so tomorrow night? This will, be, this will be Thursday for the rally drum. Yeah. Tomorrow night, all fans get the rally towel. Okay, so this is kind of a tough thing as an executive in sports. Explain how you guys made it into the playoffs and the chronology of when you find out you're in, which you, you knew you were going to get in, but when you actually were officially in versus when you could start selling tickets and then the challenges of not having season ticket holders or group sales. Explain all of that because I would love to see – Wednesday and Thursday night, particularly Wednesday night. Padres are off. They're they're leaving. They're going out of town. They're on their way to Cincinnati, as I recall. Is that right? Will somebody just check that Padres and the Reds in Cincinnati? Does that sound right? This weekend? Yeah. No, it's here. It is here. Okay, so excuse me. So, back. so yeah. the Padres are off Wednesday night, but then they're back to work on Thursday. So you've got the town to yourself tomorrow night. We do. And you know what's interesting is people realize people follow sports because they're passionate about a certain sport or a certain certain player or a coach and they see the fun side of it. The truth is it's a big business and you have to line up plans in order to perform a game from an entertainment standpoint months ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So when we get our schedule, which is usually in July or August, we start selling tickets for games in March, February, January, and we can back into those really big nights. We can give away the cowboy hat or whatever we're going to do and tell people about it for months ahead of time. When you start a playoff series, it's arguably the most exciting time of the year, but you have the least time to market it. So we literally found out that we were in the playoffs at 10 p.m. on Friday of this last weekend. (laughs) On Saturday at 10 p.m., we found out who the heck we were playing Mm -hmm. and where. It Mm -hmm. could have been Bakersfield. It could have been San Jose. It could have been Colorado. It turned out to be San Jose at home. Game one is 72 hours away. Mm -hmm. So... (laughs) All of a sudden, hey, tickets are for sale, everybody. <laughs> yeah, get those hey, rally go. towels Make out. sure everybody's following on Twitter. Go, go. So we have a marketing plan that has been in place for about a month, but hockey, as other sports, is very superstitious. So we don't want to go out three <laughs> weeks ago and say, we're going to make it in mm-hmm. and start selling tickets, and then all of a sudden we don't make it, and we gotta we got to eat our words and look silly. So we respect the sport, we respect the players, and we don't start marketing literally until the second we clinch, and then everything goes crazy. And we do what we did all day today 
today. We engaged with the fans. We had a fun. We had 10 tons of snow at the Pachanga Arena. We buried jerseys. And 10 tons and, of yeah, snow. And fans were My digging man. through it. It impresses you, huh, Billy Ray? <laughs> well, it's like one big yeah, snow yeah, cone. Yeah, I mean, are you I mean, kidding me? Nine tons nine would not be impressive. Oh, 10 tons, God. very <laughs> impressive. Over the top. Right. I'm with you. So we did these fun marketing initiatives all day and all week, and I'm here t- today talking because – Part of the business side is let's get the word out. We right. want to tell fans on every medium possible, TV, radio, Twitter, stream, everything you have to say, come on out and see this team that you've supported all season long. Well, now we really need you. And we, by the way, we got a game tomorrow. Wednesday night. Are there any beer specials on Wednesday nights? We uh, have worked it out with Anheuser-Busch and the Pachanga Arena for Fridays. For Fridays. So, so tomorrow uh, is not a $2 beer night, but the next Friday game will be. Okay. The reason I ask is because the other night I was at a game, and um, I did not go to the $2 beer line just because like, the most convenient thing was like right here. So I was like, okay, well, I mean, if $2 beer, I mean, how much could this beer be? Oh, my God. Two beers, $25. Two oh, beers, 25 bucks. At the Pachanga Arena, when the three dollar beer or the two dollar beer was probably like another ten feet up, yeah. But there was maybe a line, twenty five dollars for two beers. So I got to have those two dollar Bud Lights. Those yeah. are good. That's uh, that, that's another reason why so many people enjoy coming on Friday nights specifically. Okay, so Wednesday night you guys play. Yep. Thursday you play, and Wednesday night is all yours. But you've had a very small amount of time. Let me ask you this. Let's forget about the business side. Let's talk about the hockey and the game. The Gulls should be benefiting, should be benefiting from the Ducks not being in the NHL playoffs. Players should be in Gulls uniforms that might have a week or two ago been in Ducks uniforms. Have the Gulls received back the players that they need to make a real championship run? Yes. Uh, to, to state it plainly, we got a lot of really good hockey players last week. We got seven guys sent down, and almost all of them had played for over a month in Anaheim playing against the best talent in the world. Now, because Anaheim has been eliminated, we get the trickle-down benefit, and we have a really strong roster. I mean, a power play is five of your best players. We got seven really solid players. So our team grew by, let's call it, 40% of NHL-quality players. So tomorrow night, you're going to see a lot of Ducks NHL quality on our ice. And you saw it over the weekend. We had a great series against Tucson of really hard-hitting, fast hockey. The one thing I noticed, we are very fast. This is exciting because I was there last Wednesday night when everybody was like, wow, we're surprised you came here. You guys got knocked off the radio. I'm surprised you showed up. I don't hide, dude. Yeah. I don't hide. I mean, I was very happy to be there, and I was excited. I couldn't believe it. On a regular Wednesday night, 8,000 people? Are you kidding me? Yeah. You and I were talking about that night, and we, we announced it a couple of days ago. We led the league in attendance this year. 306,000 people came to goals games this year. Nice. And that doesn't count how many people listened on 1090 on radio. Correct. doesn't All count year. how many people listened or watched on Fox 5 when you guys televise games on Fox 5. I don't know if you guys do live streams. Do you do that during? We do, yeah. AHL TV will live stream every single game, which will happen throughout the playoffs. We're also on Fox 5 uh, this Thursday. Yeah, so you see the thing is is that when you talk about 306,000 people actually came through, you're talking about then millions of impressions. Yeah. You know, through radio, TV, streaming, et cetera, et cetera. So Thursday night, the game's on television on yeah. Fox 5. Wow. We turned it quickly. Yeah, so we were able to get that game on Fox 5. So if you can't make it out, turn on Fox 5 and we'll be there. Yeah, something I wanted to address um, – you guys, we're, we have been such great partners for four years. And um, and what's happening with you guys, I, I'm really kind of proud of what's going on. We're evolving. Great things come out of situations that are out of all of our control. And what I love is look how nimble you guys are. All of a sudden, you change this platform. We're streaming. We're, we're promoting the app. And we're talking on possibly maybe to more people in a more structured way. So something good all of a sudden is coming out of this, and I, I'm I'm really impressed, and I'm proud. I'm glad to be here, and you guys are still supporting the goals, and, and I want to show my support to you guys because this is how great things are built. Sometimes things fall down for a minute. You pick them back up, and something better comes out of it. Yeah, it's so true, Matt. I mean, we I have been kind of preaching around here for the last, you know, probably year, year and a half, why are we not doing more digitally speaking? And the, the reason I would always say that is because when when our ad executives go out onto the streets to go try and sell, when they go to sell radio, 
agencies or businesses have chosen to spend less in radio nowadays than they do in digital marketing. That's because Facebook and Google can actually show you, here are the hard numbers. Yep. Okay. In radio, we say, look at how great our ratings are when they're great. And then we go, ratings don't count when they suck. So, and, and ratings are unscientific. They're not. They're just not true. There's a thousand people in San Diego all walking around with a people meter beater, a beeper, and and then those thousand people get to create the ratings for a million people. Mm -hmm. And so it's not an accurate scientific study, really. What we're finding is by just on our app alone. Now, by the way, that's the Mighty 1090 app. There's the TuneIn app, and there's other Spotify. There's other places where you can actually get us. But where we get to see the numbers are on the 1090 app. Mm -hmm. And the numbers from Friday, from uh, Thursday of last week and Friday of last week to yesterday to today, I mean, they're unbelievable. So if you were a sponsor and you were saying, well, I'm not going to be on the, with you guys anymore because you guys aren't on the radio, well, let us actually show you what the digital numbers look like. Those are the most engaged listeners, mm -hmm. and those are the people that are most likely to call your company. Yeah, and also it's kind of a, a, a modern way to look at marketing. Um, and it's not just one way to consume a media. And you guys are doing it perfectly because now all of a sudden people can say, well, I don't have time to download the app, but I can find it on YouTube or I can go back and grab it. All of us watch TV on our own schedule. And all of a sudden we're able to now consume our entertainment on all, f all mediums how we want. And you know, we're is... getting ready to join on Twitch now. That's our next thing. Oh, are you? We're going Twitch. What do you think of that? That's all video games. That's a huge market. It's gamers. Yeah. But now we a guy contacted me on LinkedIn, said, dude, I'm converting sports radio guys onto Twitch because there's a younger audience there. And so now YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, app, We'll get back on radio eventually. I mean, we have to be in all those places anyway. Yeah, so this Twitch app actually has, and I'm going to maybe mess up the numbers, but it's got more followers uh, per medium than almost any other medium out there, and it's all below 30-year-olds. Yeah, it's all young people. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. so we're, that's, that's kind of our next thing is Twitch. Yeah, Isn't that funny? Good for you. That's Thanks, great. man. Well, listen, dude, the goals tomorrow night, the goals on Thursday night on television on Fox 5. Tomorrow night, you're going to get the rally towel. Thursday night, you're going to get the little Miyagi-san drum. That's okay? Right. Mm -hmm. Danyo-san, remember when Danyo-san, he had to like do the move, like the drum, you know? He had to you know, avoid the punches. by And then and then at the end of the movie, when, when Danyo-san was standing on the other side and the bad guy had moved the bridge and he was going to kill Danyo-san in front of everybody, the whole place started with the drum. Click, 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 click. And then it reminded Danyo-san that he could... Turn his body. He's saying Danya son. son. That was his name, Danny Larusa. Yeah, Danya son. And that's what that's what Pat Morita called him. You know. And so so Danya son would turn his body and avoid the punch, and then, or like land the blow and avoid and land. And the next thing, you know, click 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 click. Danya son knew it was time to win the fight. When the Gauls fans. Start playing with the drums on Thursday. Click, 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 click. Are you going to have Danielson on this big screen? You should, you should have Karate this, Kid. I actually got to have Scott on the big screen doing this whole thing. <laughs> well, yeah. It's been recorded. Yeah. I loved it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Doing his thing. You really should have him go, you know, doing yeah. one of these the deals. Crane yeah. Yeah. The crane kick. Yeah. 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 Matt Savant, the president of the Goals. Goals at home, starting the playoffs thir Wednesday and Thursday night. Big giveaways and, uh, and a television game. Matt, thank you very much for coming by and Appreciate telling it. everybody all about it. Thank you. Thanks for having me, and good luck with everything. Yeah, thank Thanks, you, Matt. brother. Good luck Back to you guys. Good luck to the Gulls. All right, let's wrap things up. What do you say? Okay. Let's put a bow on this let's thing. Do this. Yes. Stick around. Final thoughts. And I see some phone calls that maybe need to get on the air. We'll see. Stick around. This is Scott and BR. San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. It's Ben and Woods. Tomorrow morning at 6. Got more talent than all you lined up. Boom. San Diego's Sports Leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The Mighty 1090. Tidying up, getting organized, sparking joy. No matter what you call it, when you donate your unwanted items to Father Joe's Villages, you're freeing up space in your home and opening up opportunities for San Diegans facing homelessness. Because your sofa will comfortably feed a family for a week, and that bag of clothes will become a bag of new beginnings. To you, it's cleaning out your closet. To us, it means everything. Drop off at any Father Joe's Villages location. Schedule your free pickup at neighbor.org or call one 1619 homeless. Hey guys, it's Woodsy. Spring is here, which you know what that means. That means summer right around the corner. If you are feeling a little low, you need to get into the Total Tea Clinic right now. They can help you. It's 858-550-0900. I had very low testosterone. They got me back to where I needed to be. 
Get in there, get a free consultation today, 858-550-0900, or go to TotalTClinic.com. Make sure to tell them that Woodsy from the Mighty 1090 sent you. It's TotalTClinic.com. It's so nice now that the kids are asleep. Cheers. We got the kids, our house, a stable income. Checking off all the boxes. But there's one box we haven't checked off. What's that? Life insurance. We don't need to think about that now. We're young. That's why now is the best time. Life insurance gets more expensive the older you get. But I don't have time to do a blood test. It's such a hassle to meet with someone just to get a quote. Not with Ethos. Ethos? It's a modern kind of life insurance. You just answer four quick questions at GetEthos.com and get a free instant quote. No pushy salespeople. And no medical exams required for policies covering under a million dollars. You can apply online in just 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Let's do it. Hmm. But then what will we do for the rest of the night? I'm sure we can think of something. (laughs) Get your free instant quote and submit your complete application in minutes. Just go to GetEthos.com. That's E-T-H-O-S. GetEthos.com. GetEthos.com. Inspired by Padres fans, the Friar Faithful, the next baseball night in San Diego all-fan giveaway is a Swing and Friar Poncho Fleece Blanket, keeping you warm during those chilly San Diego nights at the ballpark or the beach. Thanks to Mission Federal Credit Union, every fan in attendance at the April 20th game against the Reds will receive a blanket. Buy early and save on your tickets at Padres.com or get them in the MLB Ballpark app. Corky's Pest Control. Nobody does it better than Corky's Pest Control. And they've been doing it the longest. I mean, Corky's got socks in his drawer that are older than these pest control companies that we hear about on the radio. Wow. Yeah. Socks in his drawer. Absolutely. Just a little little inside joke amongst me and the great friends who know what I'm talking about, (laughs) about solar panels. Anyway, listen, when it comes to termite fumigation... The one thing that Corky's does that is such a great differentiator, and it's one of many things, but I'll I'll start it like this. When you call Corky's Pest Control and you say, look, Cork, I've got termites, okay? I need you to come out and take care of it. Corky can look at your house through satellite technology. He can determine the size of the home and the, 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 the scope of the job. And then Corky can give you a quote on the phone. And whatever the price is that he quotes, that's it. That's a guarantee. It's locked in. I always say to Cork, but what happens if you get out there and it's a much bigger job? Oh, well, I've quoted the price. That's the deal. And another differentiator. Nobody beats Corky's four-year guarantee on termite fumigation. So you want the best? You want to get rid of those termites? You want that guarantee? You call Corky's Pest Control. Probably know that number. If not, Mm. Billy Ray and I do really, really, really well. It goes like this. 1-800-901-1102. Corky's! San Diego's sports website is Mighty1090.com Head there right now for breaking sports news, exclusive audio and video interviews, inside stories, expert analysis, and podcasts from each Mighty 1090 show. San Diego's sports website is Mighty1090.com Tell me a story. Tell me I know any stories. You don't know any stories? Huh? All right, I'll tell you a story. Time now to take a look at some of the stories we've missed. I've got a big story for you. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, hello. Here's Linda Welby with the rest of the story. And now you know the rest of the story. On San Diego's Sports Leader. The Mighty 1090. All right, the rest of the stories. I'm sure we have that much time here for the rest of the stories. Linda, do Hmm. you want to do the rest of the stories, or Mm -hmm. would you like to yield to Carlos from Point Loma, who's on the the phone line right now? Mm Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to yield to Carlos. I'm always entertained Very good, by what good Carlos decision. has to say. Alex, what do you think about the Carlos from Point Loma call to wrap up today's broadcast? I know we're streaming only, but if he promises not to cuss, I don't care if you take the call. Okay, Billy Ray, <laughs> what do you say? Absolutely. Okay, here's Carlos from Point Loma. To me, one of the all-time great sports radio callers in the history of the game. Carlos, we're on a shortened time here, but have at it. You have the floor. Thank you, Scott. Linda, thank you very much. And, you know, Scott talked about finish. Linda, when I need to get it done, I think about you. That's a compliment, by the way. Thank you very much, Carlos. That's disgusting. That's <laughs> creepy, hey, dude. Just pushing the line, Scott, pushing the line. Hey, Scott, um, you know, you got to take care of yourself. I understand you, you're out of a marriage, got to pay some alimony, you got kids in college, kids going to the college. 
if that crappy FM station across the street comes calling for you, you only Scott Kaplan, go over there, confront that Trump supporter, that ugly guy in the morning, maybe take his job. That would be great. But the reason I'm calling, Scott, you're talking about all these exciting uh, um, new ventures and how to get the show. You know, 2010, most cars have the auxiliary plug, and that's one way to plug your phone in. But, Scott, please, I, I know you know this guy. I know you're negotiating. You can't lose sight of the signal. You can't lose sight of uh, the AM signal. Let's be honest. The big, booming AM signal propelled you into national prominence, our local prominence. It has helped Jim Rome get to read that, Steve Hartman, uh, Hacksaw, of all people, all those years being on that big signal. So you can't really lose sight of the AM signal and terrestrial radio as a whole. Now, Scott, you know this because you're a radio guy. I'm kind of a radio guy to follow the industry. By the way, it's a shark-infested industry um, as a fan. I've not, never been in radio, but Scott, That's there accurate. So many, <laughs> you know, Scott, there's so many people that listen while they drive. And all these new mediums that you can get your content on, you know, you can't really watch your show and, and drive at the same time. I'm talking about the guys who are maybe young guys making their way through school, driving a bus, driving a shuttle, picking up trash, delivering whatever. I'm talking about the guys that work in the warehouse who maybe work with forklifts and pallet jack. You can't have earphones and you can't stream. You can listen to the radio coming from a big place, but you can't only have the radio plugged in your ears. It's just dangerous. And that's where I think the majority, the vast majority of your listeners come from. So please don't discount AM, FM if you have to. All these new mediums are, are exciting. We'll get you out there. By the way, I like how you put your site in there with uh, Amazon and, and Twitter and all these other apps. It's pretty funny. Scott, you know you're going to end up in radio. Make it happen. If John Lynch can't pony up the cash to save this massive signal you got, you're going to have to go to the FM site. Kick ass over there. Take who you can, who you're willing to take with you, who they want to take. But, Scott, you got to take care of number one. And right now, Scott, you are number one in this genre, in this town. Um, you're the man, Scott. Carlos, thank you for all those compliments. It's uh, not something I expect from you, and I appreciate that. So I know that, uh, that they're coming from deep in your soul. But let me just say this, and I'll, I'll, I want everybody to know this. I understand the idea of streaming is the future. I get that podcasting is gigantic. I really do. It's why I jumped into the podcasting game myself, and I'm 50-plus episodes into my podcast. I believe in all this YouTube streaming we're doing. I believe in the Twitter streaming. I very much am interested in the Twitch streaming. But in the final analysis, Carlos, whether it's for the next two years, the next five years, or the next ten years, I do still believe that more people will listen on terrestrial radio than will listen on stream. Doesn't mean people won't go back and listen on stream, but I'm talking about listening live. When people get in their cars and they hit the radio, they still expect free entertainment to come out of the speakers. And I believe, and always have believed, that one of our biggest deficiencies at this radio station has been a lack of outdoor advertising. When you're driving down the road and you see a banner for, an ad for a radio station, if the music looks right or the content looks right, you're there. You're a captive audience. Let me turn to that station right now. Carlos, rest assured that we are doing everything we can to either A, take control of the mighty 1090 and blast these 50,000 watts throughout Southern California, or if we have to, we've been approached, as you might imagine, by the, comp the competition, who sees us as a double positive versus being a double negative. We could A, bring the star players to their team, and B, knock out the competition. So that's why the that's why they look at us as a double positive right now. Does that make sense? Well, and an opening just happened in the mornings. I think everybody's preparing for the possibilities. Hmm. I don't want to do mornings anymore. Nah, I don't want to, but Nobody I could. Do I don't. But anymore. I get up so early now. I do. I get up so early. It's different getting up and doing a show and getting up. You know that. I mean, I could do it. You just you're just fighting. <laughs> you don't want to get up early. You don't want to do mornings. Admit it. Come on, nobody here wants to do mornings. We all know this. Bill I'm, Ray doesn't care. He doesn't even know what time it is. I'm up watching Game of Thrones anyway. <laughs> so I'll, watching Game of Thrones I'll is different than getting in. in your car and driving <laughs> to no, the studio. We can do it. We can do it. We can do mornings if we need to. If we need to. Prefer not to. All right, listen. Let's get out of here. We appreciate sincerely and send love to all who continue to support this radio slash streaming venture. We sincerely do. And, uh, and we're glad you're part of it. Because this is actually kind of fun. For Grande Alejandro, 
Yep. Linda Welby, the big old rascal. Mm-hmm. Allie Rat and the entire Mishbucha. It is officially rock and roll time. We're out of here, guys. Mamba out. Game is finally f***ing <laughs> over. See ya. Later. Y buenas noches. Catch every moment of the Scott and BR show wherever you are. Dream come true is what that is. Is that what it is? Yeah. Log on to Mighty1090.com or download the Mighty 1090 app for details. Hello, I'm Joe Cordell of the domestic litigation firm Cordell & Cordell. At Cordell & Cordell, we encourage our clients to participate, to recognize how essential their role in this process is. They've got to be willing to help us help them. And by working jointly in a sort of partnership, we're more likely to get the best possible outcome for our clients. And that's really